All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Let me know if you have any problem from your side. Uh, you know, this is a question always we ask, and we are here again uh, to share with you that nobody can answer such a simple question. I never heard of religion. The followers of it, they do not know who is their God. Now, I see some of you in the text asking me why I don't join a team without mentioning the names first of all in order to be in a team with somebody i have to agree with that somebody and um, some christians they say things which totally i don't approve when i speak about islam as an example they say allah akbar meaning god is great which is absolutely not true or allah is just a name uh, just a word meaning god which absolutely not a true so <clears throat> we have basic things we cannot agree upon therefore we cannot be in one team uh, however I support Christians who fight Islam for sure but we should be uh, in the same level of understanding in order to be in one team we have a Muslim who I don't know if he's still there his name big Baba Big Baba, he said, how and what kind of a Christians you Christians do believe that your God was killed and what kind of God can be killed? I love when I see a Muslim saying that because if you if you say why Jesus he is being God yet being killed, well, that's mean Jesus is God in your religion because Jesus in your religion, your idiot, he was not killed. So if the reason for you not to believe that Jesus is God because God cannot be killed Well, here we go in your religion. Jesus cannot be killed So now you should worship Jesus as God. This is how silly. This is how stupid you are I mean, I cannot find a person who can debate me about his cult. He have an even not low IQ. He have any Q You are suffering not only you don't have the like I cannot say you have a low IQ. You don't have IQ. How G how Jesus can be God and he got killed, huh? How? Well, in your religion, Jesus cannot be killed, so he's God then. Use your logic on yourself first. I mean, who is this stupid here? Jesus said, nobody can take myself from me. I lay myself down. Nobody can kill him. And you see, I agree with you. Who can kill God? Here we go. This is why God is alive. This is why Jesus is alive. They killed him. He's alive. Now, I have my Skype open. If there's any Muslim would like to call us. Who is Allah? You see, I saw tons of articles, some of them written by Muslims, some of them written by Muslims, by, by Christians, and I find both articles are very funny and very stupid. When it's come to who is Allah, it's kind of like, uh, because nobody have answer for from Muslims, the Christian, they start guessing. So some Christians, they write articles saying, the word Allah is just a word meaning God in Arabic. You are right. If this is the case, so why the Muslim when they say Shahada, they don't they don't say there's no Allah but Allah. If the word Allah is God, say just there is no Allah but Allah. The Muslim they say there's no God but Allah. Why? Because Allah is a name. So stop being silly and stop copy paste and stop being ignorant. Now. Who is the Muslim when to give me a call and tell me who is Allah? The one who his name written like a snake. Hmm? Any Muslim? Who is the Muslim? He have a knowledge and the courage to call us and tell us who is Allah. Don't tell me that all of you Muslims, you follow religion, you worship a God, but you do not know who is he or what you know his name. 
and look at this circle I mean what that circle is like this is art Allah and because they have no idea who is this God who is Allah you are the only snake and you know that my friend isn't it your God Allah he said when you go to the grave he will make 99 dragons go inside your anus well obviously your God and the snakes are partnering together 99 dragons will go inside your anus call me mr. Big Baba the one who said to us how Jesus can be God but yet he been killed hmm? only Muslims can call me by the way don't call me if you are not a Muslim text me first say I'm a Muslim and I will I will call you all right <clears throat> Any Muslim? No. Here you will see the disability. Tons of article trying to explain Allah, but nobody knows who is Allah. Muhammad himself, he never spoke to Allah. He never saw Allah. He never heard Allah. So who is Allah? Allah means the one God. Look at this stupidity. I mean, Allah means the wing. Where, where you get this from? Where do you get that the word Allah means the one God? And by the way, the idea of one God or two God or three God, I, I find it very stupid and very dummy. Because if your God is one or two or five or seven, who cared what we care for if it is true God or not? If somebody believe in 1000 God, but they are true God, he is better than somebody believe in one God, but it's just a false God. So what is the idea of having one God? What does that mean exactly? Does that mean you are superior? There's many people believe in one God. There's many worship Satan and they believe he's God and he's one. The question will be how you have one God but he is a stupid God how you have God who is one God but he say things which is stupid to the point nobody say like him like women have a sperm coming from their ribs the sperm of the man coming from the backbone this is why when I sit in the chair I avoid my backbone I want to protect my sperm since when the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man I thought it's coming from the nose. So the question is, if it is one or two, I don't care. Let us say your God was seven God, seven a living God. Who care? The question is, you do not even know who is your God. You don't even know how your God look like. Oh, what you know that Allah have, uh, he have a body. Allah have a body, but how, he, how, how his body look like, you do not know. What kind of religion this religion is? And why your God have a body? Because he is not spirit. And why your God have no spirit? That means he is a dead body. When a God he have a spirit and he have no body, this is how we know he is an exist. He have the power of life. But your God have no power of life. And how somebody don't have the power of life, he can give life. When he is just a dead body. We will crave to see the voice of Allah. A prophet said, the face of Allah we would like to see. So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Allah had a body, brother. Allah had a body, but not like yours and mine. How, who, what, what does that mean? Allah has a body, but not like yours and uh, yours and mine? Who oh, thank you. Now, now you know what we Allah. Allah has a body. I mean, that's it. This is what you know about your God. Allah has a body, but not like yours or mine. I mean, really, I'm satisfied. Who is the Muslim want to give me a call and tell me who is Allah, who have a body not like yours or mine? Is that because he's ugly? Is that because he's sexy? Is that because he's hairy? What does that mean exactly? He have a body, but not like yours or mine. Hmm?
any Muslim? The reason for considering the term Allah as more accurate is that Allah is the only just a meaning of God is also personal name for God both reference to God and his personal name I mean repeating the same thing over and over but I got nothing until now what does that mean you don't just say God but you can also say Lord but when you say Allah you are invoking the name the personal name of God it established a personal touch to Paul between a human and being the creator and what does that mean until now you did not tell me who is Allah thank you for telling me that he have a name I am honored to know hey Allah nice to meet you you have a name I thought you don't have a name Do we have any Abdul? This is what you know about Allah. That's it. This is the God you bow down your ass every day five times. Oh, Akbar, Allah, Akbar. But you have no idea, Uzi. That's it. You Muslims busy doing jihad to get the versions, but nobody is busy. Thinking who is Allah because all what your brain is about is thinking about what is between your legs And this is the whole idea for promising you vaginas because he don't want you to think what kind of God you are worshiping Think about the reward the reward the vagina are waiting for you. They have no those vagina have no hair brother Allah he spent 1,000 year to soften the skin of every female question Muslims if your God is almighty why it took him 1000 years to soften the skin of a female your god allah he never heard of something called nevia why the female of heaven allah he made them from a crocodile skin 1000 years to soften the skin of a female maybe your god he is using a machine and the electricity keep going off and this is why he cannot finish the job. It's taking so forever. One thousand years to soften the skin of a female, everyone. And how many female Allah will make? For every one of you, at least 70 female. I mean, your God Allah is so fast. I mean, I can imagine Allah wearing his robe now and his softening skin in heaven. Skin of what? Of female. What kind of female those female are? <clears throat> Aramaic Prince. Anyone here in our chat, he say, I am a Catholic, I am Protestant, I Orthodox, I will ban you. In this chat, nobody is allowed to say anything like that. We are united here. We are not, we're not allowed the devil to divide us. So this is a warning. Nobody is asking you if you are a Catholic, or if you are an Orthodox or a Protestant. One more time, you say it, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Now, who is the Muslim when I tell me who is Allah? Who is the Muslim when I tell me who is Allah? Hello? Hello? Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Allah is a God. Yeah, right. Allah is a God, but he don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars. Allah is a God, but he think that we are created from a sperm and the sperm became a congealed blood and then the congealed blood became bones and then he closed the bones with the skin and meat. Well, nice to meet you, how stupid you are. So you are worried about who is Allah by giving us no definition except saying he is God. And you make a long article saying to us nothing that it is Allah represent purity of Islamic monotheism. Like, wow! I mean, this is alone should be considered as a big point for the Muslims. They believe in monotheism. Monotheism. And so...
You believe in monotheism or not in monotheism? What that will make a difference? The question is, is your God exist or not? Monotheism? Who is a Muslim want to give me a call and tell me about his God, the funny God? Hmm? The God of the versions, you know, I'll die. I want to have, you know, you see, <clears throat> Muhammad, uh, okay. Uh, we have, uh, if you have Jesus, if you love Jesus, show your face. <laughs> That's a good one. Let me call this guy. <laughs> See, you are a coward. You don't even dare to take my call. You know, if you love Jesus, show your face, the coward. Let me show you, Abdul. Your God himself, he speaks from behind the veil. Does that mean he is a coward? Isn't it your God in the Quran? You're funny, Allah. He speaks from behind the veil. Why? He is a virgin female. As long as you are accusing me that I am a coward because I am not showing you my face. Why do you want to see my face, by the way? Are you a gay? I'm here to debate you about your cult, not to show my face. If we go in the Quran, in chapter 42, verse number uh, 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 51, it says that Allah, he never spoke to any person except from behind the veil. Do you see it? Does that mean that your God, Allah, is a coward? And they cannot answer me, so they say to me, show your face. Well, I thought I thought you should ask the same question to your God, not to me. I am not the one claiming to be, to be your God. But you know what? I noticed that something uh, me and Allah we share. He don't show his face. I don't show my face. So I must be Allah. Any Muslim? If you love Jesus, show your face coward. Mm -hmm. If you are, a, if you love Jesus, show your face coward. <laughs> Allah, if you love Muhammad, show your face coward. And Allah is not showing his face. Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim would like to call me, please? You know, there is a guy who have a very stupid movie. His name is Borat. I find a lot of similarity between Borat and the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Borat wanted to buy a car, but he wanted to buy a car which is a, a, a attractive vagina. Muhammad, he wanted to find a God, but a God who attracts the vagina and the penises. So what is the difference between Borat and your God? Hmm? You tell me. This is God. Your God is a Borat. When somebody some somebody said to be Borat, I am re retired, he said to him, Oh, you are retarded. Oh, okay. This is exactly how Muhammad he understood the Trinity in Christianity. We say to him, retired, he say retarded. Your prophet cannot quote a name correctly. He cannot quote any history correctly. He got a lot of funny, stupid stories from fairy tales, put it in the Quran, claiming that it's coming from his God. He speak about science, which is getting him busted. His story getting get, get him busted. And the funny is, they say to us that the prophet was illiterate. I believe it's not the prophet was illiterate. It's you Muslims who follow him, because obviously you have a mental issue to be believing in such a garbage.
Who is your God? You do not know. In the whole Quran, you will see Allah speaking about things. But always he present Allah, speak about Allah, which means I am Allah, but I speak about Allah. As an example here, you will see it says, to Allah belong all the dominion. Hold on, who is the one is talking for the sake of Allah leg? If Allah is talking, why he say to Allah belong all dominion? And then he say, it is he, he who? Allah, but who is talking Allah? Allah is talking, he say, it is he. What's wrong with this God? Imagine I am I am a Christian prince and I say to Christian prince belong all oh, the dominion and then I say it is he uh, he who uh, it's uh, 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 me so why you don't say it's me what it is he who is talking here And by the way, it is Allah who made you not to have babies. I mean, this is science by itself. Does that mean Muhammad, he was made not to have babies because Allah, he wanted him to, to have babies? Mm. And then in the same chapter, verse number 52, it speak about Muhammad Muhammad he do not know what is religion he do not know what is God he is an idiot read carefully with me and thus what have we by our command send inspiration hold on what by our command? Muhammad he never received inspiration Muhammad he received delivery there's a huge difference between inspiration and delivery you're a stupid God. He cannot even recognize what the difference between inspiration and delivery. You see, when the angel came to Mary, he delivered to her a message. He did not give her inspiration. He said to her, blessed is thee, and you will have a child. That is not an inspiration. Inspiration that God inspire you in your mind. Not somebody come to your door Hello, yes. Uh, my name is Jibreel. Let me squeeze you, please. I have delivery for you. What is the inspiration? What is the inspiration? Where Muhammad ever he received any inspiration? The only inspiration in the Quran is Muhammad receiving the satanic verses. The rest is delivery from the pizza boy. His name is Jibreel. And as you see, every word in this book is a joke. We cannot even pass one line without laughing. And then here after that, you will see the Muslim, they lie to us and they say Muhammad was Abrahamic. Muhammad, he followed Abraham before Islam. Look what the verse saying. The verse says that Muhammad, he knows not before what is a revelation and he have no faith in what is faith. Do you see it, Abdul? So before, for 40 years, Muhammad was nothing but a pagan man, according to your Quran. So why you lie to us and you say Muhammad was Abrahamic? I agree, Big Baba. Uh, I don't shave my face because I'm very ugly. Is that a problem for you? If I am ugly as you claim, claim your God Allah, the stupid, because aren't you the one who claim that Allah is the one who created us? That's mean your God Allah, he is not a good creator if I am ugly. And again, you beat the hell of your God by saying stupid things. Because if there is a human being is ugly, according to you, that's mean the one who created him is the ugly one, not him, because it's not my fault if I look good or bad. How stupid of you. Avoiding answering my questions by attacking my person and my look. And by the way, how do you know I look ugly? Trust me, if I show my face, 
all your wives, the four wives will leave you and they will jump right away in my in, in my uh, camel. How you know? I swear. I swear. I look so, so good. I swear. Like Zach and Nick. Look how Zach and Nick, how handsome he is. Here we go. Zach and Nick is showing you his face. What you got from his face? Do you dream about him at night? Do you see with the dreams after you see his face? What do you want from the face of Zach and Nick? What you earn from the face of Zach and Nick? Actually, if I show you the, the messages I get from Muslims, like now they are behaving before I used to get very crazy messages. You know, once I receive a message from a Muslim, Muslim female, she's saying to me, so what if your voice is very sexy? I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I swear by Allah. I mean, obviously, you hate me very much. Very much. I can't tell. God knows what she is doing there. They cannot answer me. They attack me. Show us your face. Do we have any Abdul here? Hmm? Have you ever heard God? You know, we have one God. His name is Allah and he swear by the fig. What the heck? You have a God, he swear by the fig? The brother, are you sure your God is okay? I think your God, he was so hungry when he made that oath. You have one God and you give me headache with him, but yet you cannot tell me why he is swearing by fig. Any Muslim? In chapter 95, verse number 1, the Quran says, I swear by the fig and the olive, I swear, I swear. Man, that's very touchy. I'm so glad he did not swear by watermelon because Muslims, they have sex with it these days. Any Muslim can tell me how God the Almighty swearing by a fig? You do not know who is your God. You do not know how he look like. You do not know how his leg look like. We do not know how his face look like. You do not know if he is bald or he have hair. But yet you have a God who swear by the fig. Why? Any Muslim? Thank you, James. Thank you. <clears throat> James, get ready. I'm going to come and visit you in Ireland. Just me and the kids and my wives. And my cousins, you can say like 100,000. Just get ready, my friend. The family, and I will bring Jibril with me. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Hmm? Uh, Phoebe, uh, why you want to join me, Phoebe? Did the guy in, invite you? I didn't invite myself. Did the guy, he just, uh, he's, the poor guy, he just said a greeting. He did not he say, he didn't even say welcome. And you want to join with me? Uh, come on, you are like Abu Hurairah. Abu Hurairah, he accompanied the Prophet just to eat free food. Do you know, guys, Abu Hurairah, the one appear in every story in Islam? Abu Hurairah, he, uh, he, uh, he joined the Prophet just to eat free food. He's a homeless guy. He have no business, no, no work to do. He have no money and he's very poor. So he found Muhammad a great opportunity. Wherever Muhammad he go, he go with him. A Christian prince, I disrespect prophets. So what? First of all, you did not say stereo and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Ah, okay, I got your point now. I was going to swear, I was going to make you swear by the fake Tom that you mean that. Tom and Jerry. Any Muslim? <clears throat> uh, 
David Lane, I don't know those names, my guys. But don't ask me about names. I do not know who is David Lane. I focus here in Muhammad. I, I, we have too much to be busy with Muhammad and his stories. Forget about David Lane. Who is David Lane? We are here to fight the liar. There's a small liars, there's big liars, there's good people, there's bad people. I don't care. I am here to expose Muhammad and his fabrication all over. <clears throat> So who is the Muslim want to call us and give us a hint about who is Allah? Was Muhammad black? No, actually there is a hadith that says the one who said the prophet is a black kill him. If you say that Muhammad was a black, the Muslims will kill you. And actually the Muslims, <coughs> if you search right now in YouTube, about the lineage of Muhammad you will see that all the ones who appear in the videos let me let me do that hold on give me a second the Muslims are obsessed with the white color and Muhammad because supposedly he is very white he must be very white and his kids have to be very white they have to be redhead actually even Aisha she was called al humayra which means the blondie uh, if we go uh search and go on youtube hold on give me a second please Let us see if we can. Here we go. Look at this video. I'm not going to play the video, so the Muslim will not uh, uh, face the face of the descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. Do you see who is in the screen? Do you see the guy who is very, very white? He looked like a girl and he have a makeup. This is a guy. He is descendant from the Prophet. Do you see it? This is the name of the video. You can search it. They have pictures for you for people who they are descendant from the prophet and this is the first picture you see take a look actually he looks scary to be honest with you no there is tons of story about muhammad how white he is how white his billy bomb how white his underarm how white his legs you know yeah Do we have any Abdul? Do you see it? The Messenger of Allah S A W S M F M A M all radio stations please do you copy me s-a-w s-a-w allah messenger do you copy me bravo bravo alpha alpha do you copy me you used to say the salam his right so that the whiteness of his chick could be seen man look how lovely i mean Oh, man, I hope there's no gays from San Francisco here. Muslim, don't keep your panty on, please. I mean, what is this? What is this is about? What the, the whiteness of the chick of the prophet? Huh? What's wrong with you, Muslims? Why the Christians, they don't say Jesus was white or yellow or brown or red? I mean, why? What, what, what's wrong with you? Why, why you are too much crazy about how Muhammad looked like? So Muhammad, he was a white man. And he is very white to the point the Muslims, maybe they are going horny when they see him. And he wear white clothes.
Is Allah white, guys? Muslims, is Allah white? What is the color of Allah? Any Muslim? What is the color of Allah? As long color for you is so important. What is the color of Allah? Hmm? You know what? The Quran said, <clears throat> According to the Quran, that Allah He will send the beast. If you go to chapter 27, verse number 82, it says that Allah will send the beast, and this beast is going to have the staff of Moses and the staff uh, and the ring of Solomon, and is going to hit the kuffar, like somebody like me, supposedly, uh, in his face, and I will turn black. And this is what um, I'm waiting for. Anyone knows what I like? Why I like to be a black? Right now, I am not a black, sadly. But do you know why I cannot wait to the day Allah will make me black? Who knows why? <clears throat> Nobody? Okay, I will tell you why. But keep it secret between us in YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, okay? Because finally, if I became a black, I will get a girlfriend. I mean, enough is enough, man. This is not fair. Allah, please make me black now. Why you are waiting for the judgment day? I want to be black now. Right now, here, make me wake up in the morning black. What's wrong with being black? What a stupid cult. Racist. Hateful and stupid. Brother, there is a beast will emerge from the ground. Hey kids, sit down, sit down in the sit down in the floor. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Allah is talking now. When Allah he talk, everybody shut up. That's it. There is a beast will emerge from the ground. And this beast is so beautiful. <laughs> Mr. Beast, we would like to do an interview with you. I am from the BBC. Can I talk to you? Is that yes? Is that no? Look like he is not happy with the BBC. What about CNN? Are you like it, huh? Don't you? You are so cute. Okay, I will say to you again. CNN, 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 CNN. CNN. You are happy. Look at you. CNN. Look how cute he is. The beast is so happy now because the CNN keeps saying lies. Man. Okay, we continue inter inter interviewing the beast of Allah using the CNN because that make him relax. Muhammad as a prophet, he said that the judgment day will not come unless few signs will appear the sun rising from the west the sun rising from the west and where is the west hmm the sun will rise from the west mm -hmm. you know I was going to buy a house in the beach, in the front of the beach, so I can see the sunset in the west. And look what will happen now. Instead of watching the sunset because I am unlucky, I will find the sunrise from there. I mean, this is not fair. I spent all my money to buy a house so I can see the sunset, and now Muhammad, it seems the direction of the sun is going to be the sunrise. I mean, this is not fair. So look what I will do. I will buy a house where the sun uh, rise, because obviously it's going to set in the sunset there. I mean, everything is upside down in this cult. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, let it go. Let us go where Allah, he will make us black and white. 
go to the topic go to the topic I mean why you are wasting our time why why let's see you see in the Muslim translation they say that your face will turn brighter or bright that's false a beast will emerge from the earth and it would and with it will be the staff of Moses by the way this is a true story I mean I don't know how many of you watch the uh, the movie uh, of uh, Huri Buter by the way Huri Buter and Muhammad is cousins they are from the same family you will see that in the hold on here we go actually I believe that Huri Buter he stole the story from here take a look so the beast will come from the earth and with it will be the staff of Musa and the ring of Solomon. And guys, that's mean he controlled everything because the ring of Solomon controlled the genie, the 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 the, the shaitans, he controlled the, uh, the birds, he controlled the flying carpet, he controlled everything. And the Musa stick, he can transform anything to anything he wants. This is the point. So the magical staff and the magical ring, and then it will strike the nose boing like boing show this me my nose I nothing okay strike the nose of the disbeliever that's my nose with the staff which means that the staff of musa and it will make the face the face of the believer bright with the ring so this beast is going to hit you with the ring if you are a believer and will hit the disbeliever with the staff of Musa's. Now, what will happen? If we go down, we will find the following. <clears throat> After he hit you, or this beast, he hit your face with the staff of Musa's and the ring of Solomon, your look will change. And all those who they are disbelievers will turn to be black. Here you will see what will happen exactly. So it will be, it will be bring out of, uh, with it the, the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. There will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face, which will spread until his face shining white as a result. Thank God, I am not a believer. And there will be no disbeliever, that's me left without making a black spot in his face which is going to spread until all his face is black as a result finally finally i'm a black finally i'm a black da -da -la 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 -la. finally the dream coming through i mean what a stupid religion all the bad people you are saying they will be black and all the good people they will be white and you Muslims lie to the black people saying to them Islam is against racism hmm? Any Abdul Any Abdul Hello Hello, 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 Beirut, min fadlak ya inayi, da 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 dam. Tini Beirut, dakhlak al khat shway. I know you guys, you don't like me to sing, but I'm trying to make Quran. I mean, let me sing before Allah, he make me black, because then I will sing in the Zulu language. Zulu, Zulu, ho ho ho, Zulu, Zulu, ho ho ho, finally I am African, ho ho ho, that's wonderful, finally I got my wish to come true, what kind of a stupid cult, what is making the difference between us being a black or white, you idiot, is that how your God identify the bad and the good, the white are the good ones and the bad are the black ones? What a sick God. Any Abdul? What guys, you don't like my uh, you don't like my singing? Come on, be honest now. See, my, my singing is very good. Actually, my voice is tired because I'm speaking too much. Otherwise, my voice will be a lot <clears throat> a lot better, to be honest with you. To be honest with you.
but I am trying to be honest with you now. Any Abdul here would like to call us. Until now, zero Abdul calling me to tell me who is Allah. This is a topic the Muslims they avoid to speak about because not even a single one of them knew who is Allah. Even the first Muazzin was a black. And my friend, your first Muazzin was a black slave. Your first Muazzin, the one who called for the prayer, his name is Bilal. He was a slave of Muhammad. Can you tell the crowd why you're a prophet? He owned this poor man. Why you don't say that he was ordered to go and do the Adhan? Because the white men, they are sleeping at home and the poor slave is the one who have to jump in the roof in the heat and say, Allah, Akbar, Allah. why the white man sleeping? That is the truth. And your prophet never free Bilal. Muhammad, he died and Bilal was still a slave. We have a guy, his name is Israel. How are you, Israel? Are you talking to me, my friend? Are you talking to me? You have love in your heart? Before you call me, you have to text me and tell me that you are a Muslim, so I will call you back. Anyone who is a Muslim would like to give us a call. You don't debate me? No, let us see who is this guy. This is Muhammad in heaven. <laughs> I'm a Muslim. <laughs> and I call him. I found that, oh, man, what happened to you? This is your voice. This is your voice. Mashallah, mashallah. I think this has happened to you because Allah is inserting the huge chain in your anus, as it says in the Quran which is 70 cubit long and each ring of it is having more equal than all the iron in the world. The filthy cult. Do we have any Abdul? This is the quality of Islam. Do you see? This is the quality of Islam. 70 euros orgasm. This is the wisdom of your prophet. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Hey, Lolita, you are not welcome in our chat, Lolita, because you sound like a hooker. Get out. Do we have any Muslim here? What happened after 70 years of orgasm? He will go back to zero. He will go back to zero. And by the way, look at the description of the beast of Allah. Did you notice the, the description? Ibn Jurais reported that Zubair described the beast and he said, it is head is like the head of a ball, its eyes like the eyes of an eyes of a pig, its ears like the ears of an elephant, its horn are an, are like the horn of a stag, its neck like the, the neck of an ostrich, its chest like the chest of a lion, its color like the color of a tiger, its hunches like the hunches of a cat, its tail like the tail of a ram, its legs like the legs of a camel, between the pair, each pair of the joint, this distance of a 12 cubit. I'm tired. Look like we have the whole zoo here. What is that? 
Allah he put all the zoo in one machine and he flip it together and we got this beast Good morning Rosalind Do we have any Muslim No, you cannot eat it. You, you, you people, American are crazy. You eat anything in your way. I mean, I have a neighbor. Each time I see him, hey neighbor, you want to eat such as this? What you want? You want to make the beast of Allah such as now? I mean, don't you have enough fat? Come on, haram. This is the beast of Allah. If you eat the beast of Allah, from where Allah will get other beast? He will go to the safari to to capture a new one. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> How you talk to, talk to me? <coughs> call me in Skype, my friend. First text me. First text me, say you want to call me. You want me to call you and they will give you a call. Don't forget before you call me to say inshallah. Because I noticed that Muslim, when they don't say inshallah, they lose debate with me. When they say inshallah, they win. Any Muslim would like to call us? Who is Allah? Anyone knows? Until now, we learn nothing about Allah except that He is a person who likes fig and He swear by fig. <clears throat> All right. Why you don't answer? You told me to call you and now you don't want to talk? <laughs> Abdullah, do you want to call or what? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Who is Allah? Until now, you Muslims, you fail to tell us who is your God, and it's very shameful that you worship a God. Oh, what you know that He is one. Who, which is who care anyway? If He one or two or three. All what we know about your God that He is a Shen. And by the way, I don't mind to have a God who is a Shen. But if this is the quali qualification to be God, I mean, Shen of women is the best. Look at the Shen of any woman. They are beautiful, nice. I mean, here we go. Why you want to worship Allah? You want something nice and shin, nice and beautiful shin? Let us make competition between women. Who is the most have a beautiful shin? Like the, the shin queen. Guys, have you ever heard of, of the shin queen? Shin, the shin, the shin queen. Da, 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 da. Let us vote for the Shin Queen and make it a God. Allahu Akbar. You have a God, he's a Shin. That is something special. <clears throat> More Muslim will call you if you show your face. My friend, I can you know. Don't worry about showing my face, you idiot. This guy, he keeps saying to me, show your face. What about showing you my shin? Why you don't ask your God, Allah, to show his shin? I mean, this is very shameful of you. You are a hypocrite, my friend. What's wrong with you? Okay. Uh, the second question of Rami was when... People pray and say, Oh Allah Azza wa grant us the ability to see your face in paradise. Or when someone prays to you and says, May Allah Azza wa allow you to see Allah's face in paradise. Wouldn't this be giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. No. Allah no. The answer is no. The answer is no. 
here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, mm. uh, uh, what you see yeah, and right. what you do not see. And he's not created mm -hmm. and he does not die and mm -hmm. he does not have an ending mm -hmm. subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah Allah described in the quran that he has a face allah described in the quran that he has two hands when he addressed iblis satan and he told him what prevented you from prostrating to what i have created with my two hands so this is what allah described himself allah says in surat al-qalam that on the day of judgment allah azza wa jal would uplift and show his leg my leg is here your leg is there we have a god he left his leg we love your leg we worship it can we please just kiss it please allah show us your leg Allah beautiful, his leg beautiful. We are Muslims, we worship a leg. I mean, what is that? Your God Allah, he is not a man, but he have two hands. And by the way, both hands of Allah are right hands. And your God Allah have a leg. But by the way, no Muslim can say to us if Allah have an ass or not. So that will be funny that your God have a leg, but yet he don't have an ass. So how Allah look like? He have two hands, he have a shin. You have one leg, not two legs. In the hadith, it says clearly that the both hands of Allah are right. So if we try to describe your God, what, what that will be? We have a God who have two eyes, his eyes here, and he have a face, and he have a mouth, but it does, he don't have a nose. And then here, we have a shin. This is the shin of Allah, which is a leg, you know, the leg. So the face of Allah is right in his leg. There's no ass, there's no shoulder, there's no chest. And then there's two hands are coming from the right hand, right side of Allah. So this is the shin, and Allah, he have a foot. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. This God is so beautiful. Any Muslim have a comment? Any Muslim, he have a comment. Anyone? Any Abdul? Christian Prince, he should be already a host. What I'm doing right now, my friend, I'm, I'm doing a TV host right now. But the, the difference is I'm sharing my magnificent art with you. And I hope that you guys you are learning how to draw. I learned, like, I noticed that first, look, this is the benefit of listening to me. First of all, American and English people, including Shakespeare, their English is improving. You see, before I start doing broadcast, many English people do not know to, how to say hello. They used to say, hey, hey, I mean, what, what is that, man? Say hello. Listen carefully. Hello. So after we start speaking in English, we taught the English people how to speak English. And by the way, Shakespeare is an Arab. His real name is Shakespeare. His real name, Shakespeare. And the English people, they stole this name from us 
and they claim he is a, an Englishman. This is a lie. His real name is Sheikh Isbar. True. Al Qazafi, he says so. You don't believe Al Qazafi? Go and ask him. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, Lolita, you are coming here to scold us about respect. Go change your name, Lolita. You know what Lolita stands for. So don't now act like you are the good girl here. Lolita. The devil. Why you are, why you are abusing Lolita? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us about his God? Who is your God? You have a shin, you have a face, you have a two, two eyes, you have a mouth, and you have two hands in the right side of his shin. I can draw Muhammad. The Muslims will kill me. You can draw Allah. If you draw Muhammad, you know the, the first of all, I cannot draw Muhammad because he's so white, and which means I have to use white ink, and and that mean that mean you cannot see him. Sorry. The Prophet is so white. Why? Moses was black. Why? Why Moses saw God's black? Hmm. I, I don't know, my friend. Maybe, maybe uh, it was dark at that night. Where, where it says Moses he saw God black. What are you talking about? Moses he saw God black. I thought he saw him as Indian. Funny people. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Ah, uh, back. He saw him. Uh, so God back. Uh, okay, okay. I see. I thought black. Uh, okay. Well, my friend, I believe that when the Bible speaks about God, it's all metaphorical. You see, even the word Musa does not mean a name as more as much it mean a, a, a surviving name the same as Jesus the same as Abraham the same as every name in the Bible so if you want to take the Bible into consideration you have to learn that this is a book of metaphorical encoding which means is not meant to be about seeing nobody can see God and nobody saw God the only God we saw is God when he humbled himself in the image of Jesus Christ which is not really how God he is. So God, he humbled himself and he come to us in the image of a man so we can see him. Otherwise, nobody can see God. Any Abdul? You can contact me only if you are a Muslim. I want Muslims to contact me. Don't say me hello. Don't say thank you. You know my Skype is flooded with uh, with hello and thank you. No, there is nobody knows how many times Jibril met him with Muhammad. You know, guys, don't call me unless you are a Muslim. I hope I made it clear. I will not take any call from anyone unless he is a Muslim. I want Muslims to call me. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Let us see here, Muhammad, when I talk. Answer, Muhammad, answer. OK. 
Okay, well, he's not answering. I don't know why they text me, but they will not talk. So as a Muslim would like to call me. Uh, we have a Muslim here when I when I talk. Let us see. <coughs> Bad connection. I pray to your God at least to give you a better connection before you say to me, call me. Any Muslim can tell us who is Allah. The one who he is a shin and he have two eyes and one mouth and two hands in the right side of his shin and he have a foot. This is the summary of your God. This is how we look like. You can make an icon for it and you can hang it in your mosque. By the way, if Islamic charity, they want to print my drawing, you need my permission, please. I will not be happy if I see Muslims printing my drawing and putting it in the mosque in every Islamic school and you Muslims start praying in front of this shin without my permission. This is your God? This is your God. This is the one you want us to pray to and bend over for. Anyone? Any Muslim? You have to contact me first and ask me that you want to call and I will call you. You cannot call me immediately. We stop taking call immediately because many funny Muslims are doing bad stuff. And we don't want just people just to keep calling and ringing and bothering us. Any Muslim? As you notice, not a single Muslim knows who is Allah. Very funny religion. This cult have no idea they are worshipping who and why. Not a single one. Let's see this guy. Is he a Muslim? <laughs> Only Muslims can call us. Only Muslims. It was a Muslim when I called me. May they, may they. Muslim is needed. What's wrong with this guy? He keep calling me. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? I will give you two seconds. If you don't answer, I will block you. Are you a Muslim? Okay, well, you don't even have a good connection. Say hello to daddy. It's my lucky day. Who is a Muslim when I call me? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? <clears throat> Say 
somebody is asking what is fatwa fatwa is a religious order which means it is something based on Islam made by a scholar to make it approved or disapproved let us say you need to shave your underarm so you ask the scholar can I shave my underarm use a machine made in Germany the scholar he will give you reference proving or disapproving that question this is what fatwa mean it's a silly stupid thing Muslim they practice and this is why the Muslims they will never go advanced because everything have to go by a fatwa there's a guy he called the Saudi TV and he said I got a, a, a phone uh, and the phone is made in Switzerland and in the bottom of it there is a there is a the cross you know this is this, uh, the flag of uh, Switzerland he said to him I'm talking to you brother I'm talking to you brother you believe it and I'm using a phone have a cross in it is it halal the guy he said to him brother destroy it immediately immediately destroy it, the brother Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar and the guy was jumping in the TV this is a fatwa now. This is a stupid religion. Bring nothing but stupidity. And this is why Saudi Arabia, after 70, 80 years of oil, very wealthy oil, endless money coming from the ground, still they are living in the cave time. Do we have any brave Muslim here? Okay, forget about the brave. I think I'm making the wrong challenge. I keep saying any brave Muslim, any brave Muslim, any coward Muslim. <clears throat> hmm? Hello? No, you know, the Saudi Arabia, the, the royal family, <coughs> they are struggling to survive. It's not because they are good. Those are a bunch of criminals. But the, the fact is, there's many of the Saudi, the young ones, they are trying to get out of that old tradition in Saudi Arabia. So there's struggle between the old generation and the new generations. And the crown prince, he is thinking about his future, how he can be the king. So in order to keep himself not to lose, because you know Saudi Arabia, the royal family is staying there just for a very simple reason. There's a lot of money. But the money soon is going to be not enough to make everybody satisfied. There's a, there's a very high unemployment. There's people who cannot afford even to, to, to pay their bills. And uh, Saudi Arabia is not like before. So revolution is going to come. So in order to keep things in order, we have to make some changes and the changes is for the order to keep the royal family surviving, not because they care for modernization, as they claim. So he knew that women, if we gave women ability to drive, that will give him a support of all the women in Saudi Arabia. And women are more than 50% of population. And if we give them later the right of voting, if vote if ever exists, that means the crown prince, he will become their hero. You know what I mean? So he is trying to earn more support, even though this is not truly Islamic. <clears throat> it's an agenda. It is not because he is convinced that this is the right thing to do. Uh, no, Luca, I cannot take your uh, call because I I, I want to talk uh, talk to Muslims. I said many time I will take calls from Muslims, please, only Muslims. Hajj is absolutely a pagan practice. The black stone is a pagan practice, and the black stone is the vagina of a status, which is the god of fertility. <clears throat> Luca, you are a Muslim? What is your name? Text me first, Luca. Text me, text me. Maybe you are the one who I blocked him because his, uh, you know, your, uh, your, uh, your connection is bad. What was your name? What was your name in in uh, Skype? Give me your name in Skype, my friend. <coughs>
Okay, let's see this guy. Not a single Muslim today has ever have a good connection. I don't know why. As you see, I'm trying to call this guy. Here we go. It's not working. I don't know. Let us try again. <coughs> Hello. Ella Pola Shamma, Jiggy Jiggy, Jiggy Jiggy. That's Quran. This is the Quran you have for me, Jiggy Jiggy. Well, obviously, your God is a Jiggy Jiggy too. Jiggy Jiggy do, Jiggy Jiggy yes, Jiggy Jiggy do, Jiggy Jiggy shin, Jiggy Jiggy arm, he have two arms, Jiggy Jiggy do, Scooby Scooby do. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Jiggy Jiggy God. Hello. 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 Yes, Mr. Muhammad, how are you? Good, fun. Uh, good, how are you? I'm all right. What do you think about Allah Shin? She no, I just I just start, just like went through uh like go through what you just said just now. What I don't so what, what what yeah what were you saying just now? Because I just came into the chat. Sorry, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Okay, no problem. So what do you want to say to us, Muhammad? Why you call me? Do you have anything to say? Mm. No, I was just. Like, we are just asking who is Allah. We're just asking who is Allah. Not even one Muslim can tell us who is Allah. What do you think? Okay, I think Allah is. Uh, I think the best representation of Allah is in Surah Al-Ikhlas. Hmm. What is that? <coughs> Al-Ikhlas. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> the chapter of Al-Ikhlas uh, says nothing about Allah. Sorry. The chapter of Al-Ikhlas says nothing, totally nothing about Allah. I'm asking you, who is Allah? You say to me, Allah is Ahad. Ahad mean one off. That's wrong. If you say to me that your God is one, how you say to me the best presentation is in Al Ikhlas? Al Ikhlas is a very funny chapter. Why is it funny? Yeah, because it says he is one off. Doesn't say he is one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, call who Allah Ahad in Arabic. You don't say Ahad unless he is Ahad off. Ahad al Tulab, Ahad al Talamida, Ahad al Asatiza. So the word Ahad mean one off. You can go right now and search in the Quran the word Ahad. You will find always that it is one off. As an example, the Quran said, which means the, the prophet. So, men ahad, which means not any of them. So, the word ahad means one off. Now, and if this, even if this one make one, make one, mean one, still that will not answer me. Who is Allah? Okay. Hmm. Now, just. Um, and isn't it funny to say uh, to me that Allah did not have, did not give birth? <coughs> sorry? Isn't it funny that the, the, this verse says that Allah did not give birth? No, it's not funny because this is uh, and uh, you know the story of why Surah Al-Ikhlas was brought down. Hmm. When? Why? The reason why hmm. Surah Al-Ikhlas was brought down? No, why? Tell me. I do not know. I'm learning. Okay. Give me a moment. <laughs> By the way, if you want, you can drink camel urine. I'm not making fun. The Prophet, he advised every Muslim to drink camel urine for better health. So no, better that's try. not what the hadith. No, that's not the hadith said. It was only for the specific um, uh, tribe where the uh, tribe came to Prophet. Oh, why? Why is specific? Why is specific? What is special no, about them to drink? Give the, what is special about those people to give them camel urine? Because the what did the hadith say? Do you want to read the whole hadith to me? No problem, but this is not really, you know, this is not what uh, this is not about specific. This is about order for all Muslims. Why are you saying to me that uh, uh, your prophet he, he told only one group to drink camel urine, the rest of Muslims should not do that? I mean, I, I, I saw the hadith. You want to read to me the hadith? No, no, let us focus on Allah now, right now. We have something more important. Ooh. Who is Allah? Oh, no, <laughs> okay, okay, who is Allah? Mm -hmm. Number one, Allah is uh 
Lord of the World. Read, uh, I think Suratul. My friend, he is the Lord of the World. Okay, well, this is not. This is not telling me who is Allah. You are. Surah. You are giving him jobs and title. This oh, is your own idea. Uh -huh. This is your fiction. Who? Who? You know, I can say I am the Lord of the World. Mm -hmm. How you can prove to me okay. that Allah is the Lord of the world when you say <laughs> when you say Allah is the Lord of the world first This is a title. Mm -hmm. This is not does not present anything about him Let us say he is the Lord of the world still you did not tell me who's Allah Let us say if I say to you who is a Trump you say to me he is the president of USA But this is not who is he this is a job he do who is Trump so you tell me who is Trump who is Allah? He's a God is you see you are telling me a, a job you, you, you so you do not know who is he or what you know that he's God that's all what you know <coughs> so the question here will be how you Muslims worship a God you do not know who is he or what you know that he's God and who is the one who said he's God he said so what if he's yeah, Satan what, what if he's Satan say I'm, I am God sorry what if he, he himself he is Satan and he's saying I am God worship me what is the proof that your God Allah is not Satan? Okay, uh, the same question can be written back to you. So what can you say that your God is not Satan? That's very easy to answer. The, the Satan, there is no way he would say love your enemy and bless them. Your God, he said, kill, torture, eat them alive, rape them. And no, that, your, did, your context, God, did your did your did your did your God did your God? No, no, no. Don't. This is contact. This is contact, my friend. My friend, let me ask you. When your God Allah he says attack them and cut their fingertips what is the point of cutting the fingertips of the enemies to strike fear into them for what this is in context of the war why this you cut the in the war why you cut in the war fingertips of people <laughs> you kill the people they are your enemy but why you why why you no, cut I their fingertips cannot hear you you need hello I cannot hear you I hear you go ahead hello? so you are fighting hello? with me and come on you hear me Hello. Okay, let me let me give you some testing. Camel urine, camel urine. Do you hear me? Okay, I can hear camel urine. No okay. okay. So now, why you wanna cut their fingertips? You cut their necks already, and why now you wanna cut their fingertips? This is uh, during the war. I understand this you're in war. Here we go. We have war in America. We have war. Do we cut the fingertips mm -hmm. of Taliban after we kill them? Why no, you want to cut? Why you want to cut the fingers? So you cut their fingertips before you call them? Are you saying to me that your God he is teaching you to torture people? The kufar, yes. Oh, so you so you are saying to me that your God is the Lord of the world and He is the Lord of torture. He enjoy torturing, right? Torture of those who. Uh, okay, do not so your God is the devil. The obviously, I I said to you, what is the proof that your God is not the devil? You said to me uh, because he is God. I said, well, he obviously he is his devil because he enjoy because he because he enjoy he enjoy he enjoy, he enjoy killing he enjoy cutting hands he enjoy. Let me ask you, did your prophet put nails in the eyes of people? Did your prophet put nails in the eyes of people? Nails. Yeah. I don't know. If he do that, is that is that from God? If it's a command from God, then I will accept it. Okay, but so what kind of, what kind of a good prophet he would do that? Why a good man he would do that? But do you have proof? I can't prove it for sure. But if this is true, what is your logic why he is doing that? I don't know. I want to hear the hadith. First. If I kill somebody, is it lawful for you? To crucify me, torture me, and put nails in my eyes just because I killed somebody. Is that lawful in Islam? If it if you kill someone, yeah, it is qisas. Okay. Yeah, the qisas is to kill him, right? Mm -hmm. So why you put nails in his eyes? Uh, show me the hadith. Mm -hmm. What did the person do? They killed they killed somebody. This is what the hadith says. They killed somebody. Okay. Okay. How so how now, did the person how did how did the person kill? They killed, yeah, they killed him. Person. They killed him, and they ran away. Okay. Okay. And then your prophet, he got them. He crucified them. He cut their feet. He cut their hands, and he put nails in the fire, and he put the nails in their eyes. Okay. What kind of prophet he is? Why he's doing that? Could be he's exacting the same revenge. What same revenge? So, so here we go. So you just say that this is about revenge. This is not about justice. There's a huge difference revenge. between there's a huge difference between revenge and okay, justice. I may, not, I may not have worded that, but 
you know, Quizas means eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, the same thing. So oh, okay, hold on. Did you say eye? eye did you say eye for an eye? Correct. Okay. When you say as an eye for an eye, does that mean if I take your eye, you take my eye, or you take the eye of my neighbor? Sorry. If I take your eye, do you take the eye mm -hmm. of my wife or my son or my <laughs> eye? No. You take the I eye take of who? Eye. You take the eye, the eye of who? The person who took my eye. The person, okay, but this is not what Islam does. Okay, prove it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Quran says, in the case of murder, in the case of Qasas, you uh -huh. do the following, eye for an eye, but Muhammad, he do it in a very funny way. Let us see. Read with me, please. Do you see the screen? No, I don't. You can open chapter two, verse one seventy-eight in your in your side if you want. Chapter two, one seventy-eight. Let me let me let me find it. Mm. Chapter two, one one seventy-eight. O oh, you who believe the law of the equality is prescribed, equality is prescribed to you in case of murder free for the free, the slave for the slave, the woman for the woman. But if any remission is made by the brother of the slain, then grant a reason any reasonable demand and compensate him with a, a handsome gratitude. And this is a concession and a mercy from the Lord. After okay. this, whoever exceeds the limit shall be in grave penalty. Slave for the slave, free for the free, Correct. women for the women. What kind of justice does justice is? So if I kill your woman, you kill my women? If I, you kill my woman, I will kill a woman. If, 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 if that is stupid. Corner, that is stupid, guys. Did you hear this? If I kill his woman, he kill my woman. But my woman is not the one who killed your woman. I am the one who killed your woman. Why you want to kill my woman? Wait, let me find. Let me find the tafsir of the of the of the ayat. Give me a moment. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just supporting you with some sniffing. No, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> One seventy. Mm. The <laughs> moment. I have Tafsir Al-Jalalain in front of me and it says that in the case of murder Al-Jalalain it okay. says okay it says a free man is killed for a free man and not for a slave and a slave for a slave and female for a female what kind of religion this religion is female for a female yeah it's in the front of you like I, I'm using my phone I can't really see uh, <laughs> Ibn Kathir, give me a moment. Check Tafsir Ibn Kathir. What Ibn Kathir says about this ayat. And by the way, you to you Muslim today, you don't follow this because everybody start laughing at Muhammad. So the Muslim they change it. So now they don't follow this verse. This is abrogated. Because obviously, you Muslims, you discover that this is stupid, and Muhammad he decided to cancel it. It's abrogated. Oh, so this is uh already is it this ayat? Yeah, what why it's Mansukh? Because it's a stupid. 
otherwise if if you are following i for an i until now and you are the one who told me that then why mm -hmm. you abrogate this one what is the purpose where do you get where do you get this abrogated idea from i mean this well, well this in, words, the, in, in, in the general in itself they say the sunnah make it clear what make it clear what this is against against the against the verse the verse says female for the female but today muslims they don't do that no more the sunnah make it clear that the male may be killed for retaliation of the female all right is it mansukh in the religion or we mansukh it ourselves because if it's uh if it's not mansukh where uh the scholar of us uh, okay of Islam, uh, uh, hold on so do ayat. you still believe do you still practice now as a muslims if if, if i kill your female you kill my female yes or no give me a moment and see if i'm free if the Quran says that, then I, I would have to believe that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the question. Do you still practice if a man kill a female, you kill his female? Do you believe in that garbage? Let's see. Wait, let me find the tafsir because I don't want to make assumptions <laughs> without having a bit of proof. Unless, uh, give me a moment. I believe there's a lot of questions we are to you to feed for the free so therefore do not feel Has already. This is very statement. It's not in the video or either. It is the highlight of it. Hence. Oh, this was during the Quraitha war. Okay, my friend, I will give you 10 years to find an answer. I'm not going to stay all night with you waiting for you to find something. Who is a Muslim when I call me? Who is Allah? Until now, until now, until now, not a single Muslim knows what Allah. Are we going to stay until tomorrow to tell me what you want to say? Hello? Yeah. You, uh, yeah, you cut me off just now? Well, you, you know, you have nothing. You are searching and looking and, you know, it's going to take you forever. The verse in the front of you, it's very clear. Female for the okay. female, slave for the slave, and the free for the free, the white for the white, the black for the black, and women for the women. This is stupid. Mm-hmm. So, so what kind of God? What kind of your God is the Lord? Your 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 God? Your God? My friend, your God is the Lord of the world. You told me, but your God is the Lord of stupidity. What kind of Lord? He said that. How God? Your God? You know? Do your God present wisdom or stupidity? Do your God present wisdom or stupidity? Wisdom. But okay. I just found out. Can you show me something wise in the Quran? Can you show me something wise in the Quran? The free for the free, the slave. Can you show me something wise in the Quran? You see, forget about this. Forget about it. It's clear that this is stupid. Can you show me something wise in the Quran? The ayah that you just said, the free for the free, the slave for the slave, the free for the female, was abrogated. Well, yeah, that's mean your God is stupid because later he found out that this is stupid. Otherwise, why he abrogate his own word? If he make a law, you know, you know how you know listen, you know no, no, we know why. We know why. You see, I can understand that a prophet before Muhammad, he sent 500 years ago, something doesn't fit for today. So we get abrogation. So that is acceptable. But the same prophet, the same man, this is about the case of murder. This is not, nothing will change. Murder is a murder. Nothing will change. Is not about fashion, is not about the clothes, is not about marriage, is not about the family, it's about the murder. No and the murder and the mur and the murder is a murder. So what kind of justice? What kind of justice? You know, when you take when you take your law down, it's mean, it's mean that Ali says that this this ayat, the free for the free, the slave for the slave, the free is abrogated. Abrogated, thank you. Why your God he changed his mind? He found himself wrong. No, Allah doesn't change. So why he did change it? Why he gave a law and he why he did not keep it then? Because simply it is stupid. 
Give me, know, give me, okay, okay, give me the reason. Give me the, okay, give me the reason. Let us not to talk about each other. I'm listening to you. Give me the reason Allah, he changed his mind. There's wisdom, okay. Uh, there's a few reasons behind, behind Nassim and Sukh. Allah. No, no, no. Um, give me this one, this one. Why he changed his mind about this one? Don't give me a speech. Why Allah changed his mind about this one, if this is not wrong? Well, in the beginning, he says the free for the free, uh, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. That was during the war, but then what more? What war? What war? Are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? No, this is about the war. Shut up! Shut up! This is not about the war. This is about Qasas, you idiot, donkey. Stop talking. This is not about war. Don't lie. This is about individual. This is about crimes. Stop lying. No, I'm not lying. This is about it's about murder. It's about murder. Stupid liar. Where where you get this is about war. This is about a murder. Individual. Shut up. Don't don't call me again. If you give me a headache. Either you show me what you are saying, show me where this is about war. Otherwise, shut up. This is it says it clearly. This is in the case of murder, not in the case of war, you idiot. War is not a murder, war is a war. Murder is an is one individual murdering someone else. Uh, how do I share my my one? <laughs> this is during the did did it, to you it, the it, reason why this verse was revealed. It, 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 you know, does it say in the Quran in the case of murder? Yes or no? Behind this statement, does it say the Jewish Banu and Nadir invited Quraidah during the time of Jahiliya before Islam and defeated them? And hence they made it a law that when a person from Nadir kills a uh, person from Quraida, he did not uh, he is not Killed in retaliation, but only pays a uh, uh, hundred wasp in dates. However, when a person further kills uh, another man, he will be uh, he will be killed for him if another wanted. Uh, this is uh, the story behind this. Uh, yeah. So this. you're a prophet. He made a poo, poo So you're a prophet. He wanted to have something better. So he said, "Female for the female." So your prophet is correcting the Jews. So he said, "You kill a female for the female." How stupid is that? This verse was abrogated. He abrogated yeah. because it's wrong. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why your God? He changed it because it's stupid. That's what we are saying. If your God is God, he will not make poo, poo What female for the female have to do with the crime? The, the, the first female is a victim. The second female is a victim. So what is justice? I kill a female. Yeah. I kill a female. And then you kill other female, which is a victim too. So now we have two innocent are dead and the criminal is a free. What kind of a stupid God you have? So difficult talking to you. Very understand. difficult for sure. So now you have a God, you cannot you do not know who is he, or what you know, his name is Allah, but he make poo, poo And as you see, this is cannot be God because God did not make mistakes like this, and he right away after he make poo, poo he tried to hide it and cover it and say this is abrogated. Why God when I make such a mistake and say abrogated? Because simply he noticed Muhammad after he made the law, people start laughing at him. What is that? This is stupid, man. This is stupid. This is literally stupid. So he decided to say this is abrogated. Thank you very much. Okay. It's okay. Abrogated. abrogated. Why? Because we your take, God is a false take, God. Take, because your God is a life. false God. Your prof, if your God uh, is God, he don't say something in the morning and then he cancels it. In the, so are you saying to me, your God, he made, he made this order in the morning and he found that he's wrong after noon. So he decided to delete it? He is Allah. What kind he of Allah? He make an order in the morning and he find after noon he's wrong. Where do you say he's wrong? Be, uh, the proof he abrogated then, then, yeah yeah then that, this is your assumption what assumption so give me the reason for abrogation then if the abrogation is not because if he's wrong then tell me why he abrogated and abrogated what he abrogated different rules correct correct okay so the rules here must be wrong otherwise why he abrogate his own rules because new situation came, comes up <laughs> go ahead get it, go. <laughs> bye 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 don't waste my time new situation new situation it's an it's a murder what a new situation. It's a murder. The murder is still a murder. What situation? You cut me off again. The murder is a murder. Nothing changed. What a new situation. <coughs> so you admit that your God is an yeah. idiot. No, mm, let, let, let me let me ask I you. Okay, not. is your God is all knowing? <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, yes. Okay, is your did your God he entrusted the Jews to protect the book? <coughs> the book, yeah, the Torah. What do you think? What is the book of the Jews? 
I'm asking you, according to your religion, your God only mentioned the book of the Torah or the book of the Jews. Book of the Torah, continue. Hmm. So now, <clears throat> did your God ask the Jews to protect the Torah? I don't know. Uh, what is your, what, where are you heading? Hmm. What is your path? Let me ask you before we go there. Did mm -hmm. the Jews corrupt the Torah? Of course. How, what is the proof? Uh, they, uh, <coughs> in some verses of the Quran, Allah says that they wrote something and ascribe it to Allah. Mm. And the Quran says that. Mm -hmm. So if I give you the Torah right now, are you willing to take an oath in it? No. Why? Corrupted. Because it's corrupted, but if you take an oath in it and it's corrupted, that means you are corrupt, correct? Right. Thank you very much. Here we go. Your prophet, he take an oath in the Torah, and you say the one who take an oath in a corrupt book is corrupt. Context of the hadith. This is a hate in front of you. No, I cannot read. I think my mind. My, oh, okay, my I will. I will give you the link if you want. I will show you the link. Here we go. I will send it to you on Skype. Okay, sure. Hmm. You're a prophet. The Jews ask him to make a judgment about a, about a, about an issue, and oh, Muhammad. Yes, yes, I mm, oh yes, yes, I yes. Okay, so so it? now why you're a prophet and you are the one who said the one who take an oath in a corrupt book he must be corrupt. Why your prophet is corrupt? Hassan Bal Bani. Okay, fine. The Jews of <laughs> the Jews of uh, the group of Jews came and invited the Messenger of Allah to Kuf. So he visited them in the school. Hmm. As Abu Qasim, all the men has committed fornication and pronounced judgment upon them. They placed a cushion of, uh, for the Messenger of Allah who mm -hmm. sat on it and said, Bring the Torah. It was then brought and then the cushion and said, I believe in thee and he and, and I believe in thee and, uh, and bring me a transmitter. Yes, I'm not just being Malik. Did, okay? you, did your prophet say, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee? Sure, he, uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Yes. You are the one who said, if you take an oath, you will not accept to take an oath in the Torah because it's a corrupt book. But you're a prophet, and I ask you why, because you said, because the one who do that, he is a corrupt. So now, you're a prophet proven by you, by your help, that he is a corrupt man. Look, it's my words against my prophet. It's my, if my prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam... Uh, so just because he's a prophet, now you take, you swallow your tongue, and you say, this is, is okay. A second ago, it was not okay. The... the 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 hadith was based on a situation where a what situation what situation doesn't matter i asked you are you willing to swear in the torah you said no i said why because you said it's because it's a corrupt i said to you is that mean the one who swear in the corrupt book is a corrupt man you said yes so what situation situation will make you swear in a corrupt book i swear in thee and in in him who revealed thee right so he swear in thee in the book in the front of his hand he put his hand on it he would draw the cushion right. from beneath and place the torah and he said i believe in thee speaking to the torah and the one who mm -hmm. revealed thee so how he swear okay. by a book which is corrupt <coughs> the situation is really simple what's yeah. your name what's your real name how do i address you what's my name Mm, so, do I call you CP only, or what, what yeah, should I call you? Uh, uh, Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad. Fine. Yeah. So uh, peace upon him. Peace upon me. Sorry? Uh, uh, peace upon me. Muhammad, peace upon me. Oh, you're a mm. funny man. All right. Um, the situation is this. The mm. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was trapped. The, the, what did the man want? It? What did the group of Jews want? It? Doesn't you matter why he swear. Don't change the topic. Why he swear in a corrupt book? No, you, need, you, you are the one no, who you, said to me. You, you are cannot, the one who said to me. You how to you say yes. I believe in thee? If I say now, if I put the Quran in front of me and I say I believe in thee, it's mean I am believing in the Quran, correct? No, the Prophet never said I swear by. No, he you. swear. Ha ha. No, no, no. You see, I see. I don't like stupidity. Please stop being liars. He swear. He okay. took the. He took the. He took the book. He put it in the cushion, and he said, "I believe in thee." When he said, "I believe in thee," he speak to who? To what? To the Torah. Stop lying. Is it? Is that swearing? Is that taking oath? It's yeah. I believe in thee. I swear. Okay. Let us say. Let us say he is not taking an oath. He is saying, "I believe in thee." Are you saying he was lying? 
No, he was not. So why he said? In, I so, in the so also, I okay. Believe in no, the he said I believe in thee. He believe, put the book in the front of him. He put the book. In, believe, shut up. He put the book in the front of him. Allah, he took. He I took. No, no, no. You Jesus, see, you are a coward like you're a prophet. You are trying to change the topic. He took the cushion from underneath of him. He put the Torah in the top of the cushion, and he said, "I believe in thee." Speaking to who? Speaking to the book in the front of him. Oh, he wasn't talking to the Jew. No, uh, he, he believed in the Jew. He oh, believed no. in the Jew now. He believed in the Jew. No, your, no. your prophet, he will worship he the Jews. Talking. I was, I was, I said talking. He wasn't talking to the Jew. He speak like now when he said, "I believe in uh, thee." Thee who? Thee who? Rhetoric. Thee who? I believe in thee. I can put I. I can put Shakespeare in front of me. I said, I believe in you. Okay. And I believe in the men. Uh, so, the men so the Jews, who, uh, the, the Jews are revealed by Allah. The Jews who? are revealed. But does it say, and the one who revealed thee, are you an idiot or what? It says, and the one who revealed thee is the Jews people who they are revealed. Are they book too? Hello? Hello? It says, I believe yes. in him who revealed thee. If you say he mm -hmm. believed in Shakespeare, are you saying to me that Shakespeare was revealed? No, I'm just giving an I'm analogy. just giving you an idiot uh, uh, certification. It says there, <laughs> I believe in him who revealed thee. Revealed what? It's a book. What is revealed? <sighs> what is revealed? Revealed is the Jews or the book? I believe in the Torah and I believe in Allah. So what is the deal? My I friend, he believe in the here. Torah. Okay, what's the deal? What the deal? The deal is yeah. he, he took an oath in a book which is false according to you. That's mean he is a scumbag. But what is the oath? The oath is to Allah. The oath he, is to Allah. He, no he, problem. I believe in thee. He said, I believe in thee. Talking to what? Huh? Talking to what? I is believe in thee. To, it's a rhetoric. When you say thee in the front of thee, or talking to something in the front of you, right? I believe in thee. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is in the front of mm -hmm. him? The book. What a book? The Torah. So I believe in thee. Why he say I believe in thee if it's corrupt? Oh my God. Okay. Simple English. <laughs> Brought the book in front, in front of the Jews. Mm. Okay. Mm. He hold the book. Let's say he put his hands, mm. sallallahu alaihi wasallam, onto the onto the Torah, mm. and he said loudly, "I believe in you, mm. and I believe in the one who revealed you." Mm. Okay. Who is you? Then he said, "Bring." Who Allah. is you? Who they is are, you? Uh, it's a rhetoric. It's a rhetoric for the Jew. Who okay? is you? Who is you? Bring me one. Who is learned among you? Then the man was brought and transmitted it. Mention the rest. Okay, this was uh, the stoning case. Okay. <laughs> you so see the hypocrisy rhetoric? of the Muslims. Let me let let me let, let uh, hold on hold on. So, okay, hold on hold on hold on. Did you say Subhanallah? Uh -huh. Did you say Subhanallah? Yeah, I did. What Subhanallah mean? Glorify be to Allah. What? Glory. I was taught this. Glorify be to Allah. Okay. Did Allah He say Subhanallah to Himself? I think he did in the Quran. Why he's saying that if he is Allah? <laughs> good question. Yeah, good question. What? Why? Why? Huh? Why he is saying? Why he is saying? Subhanallah, if he is Allah. Allah. Yeah. Why Allah, Allah? He says Subhanallah. Why Allah? He says Subhanallah. He can reveal the book in any fashion he wishes. My friend, this is another question. Read, why Allah he, he say Allah. why Allah says praise be to Allah if he is the one is talking, if he is Allah. Who is the one saying praise be to Allah? All of this subhanallah. Look how many verses. Why Allah saying subhanallah? Man says why not? He why he why why he's saying fashion? subhanallah? Who is who is the one is talking? Why not? Allah is talking. Okay, in chapter 37, verse number 180, he says <laughs> uh, subhan to your Lord. Who is the one is talking? So yeah, uh, chapter one. Glory, glory, to the the Lord. Lord. Glory, glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Okay. Glory to the Lord. Who is the one who's talking? Allah is talking. To who? To the Lord. No. To who? Subhanallah. Okay. My Allah friend, says, my friend, how I Allah swear. and how, how Allah He but says, glory, glory to the Lord, the Lord of honor and power, and then after that He said, and the praise be to Allah. Allah says, the praise be to Allah. And praise be to Allah. How this happened? Okay. Allah can say anything. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Prayed, okay. Said, uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Allah, oh. Allah okay. Did, and, uh, he, did, he, did, he, he, did you? Did said, your God Allah say shahada? Did you? Did your God? Did your God Allah say? Did your God Allah say that there's no messenger but but Muhammad and there's no God but Allah? 
Allah did say uh, in Fogolish Surah. Hmm. But Allah did say. Did your prophet uh, convert to Islam? Did your God convert to Islam? Sorry? Did your God convert to Islam? Oh my! So I saw this. I saw this coming. Yeah, you uh, saw it coming. Did your go God convert yeah, to Islam? Go Did your God convert to Islam? Allah doesn't need to convert. What do you mean? So why he, why in the Quran it says Shahid Allahu Allah He witness? What do you mean he did not convert? No, he did. Okay. Do you want so? me to show you? Like your no, your, so, your God He convert. Do you want me to show you that your God is saying Shahada and He convert to Islam? Here we go. Chapter three, verse number eighteen. He said, "There's no God, but he, but he, he who." Wait, chapter three, eighteen. Mm. There's no God, but He. Allah saying, "There's no God, but He." Speaking about which God? Okay. Allah, I mean, I, I just simplify things for you so you understand even more. Mm. Okay, mm. Allah he is the law of the world, he can see whatever he, he wants, he can now, see whatever he wants. He, he, he do poopoo mm. as much as he wants, he can't do poopoo. As, we get that, he can do poopoo. Now, why Allah, if he is the one who's talking, he says, There's no God but He? Why, why he not? don't say, There's no God but me? Why not? He who? Allah. Allah. Who what? Else? What? He swears by himself too. What do you mean? No, he, he's not swearing now. He is saying he taking shahada. He is saying there's no God but He. He who? The, uh, this. this uh, give me a moment. Hmm. Let's find. No, isn't this the same? Same thing we say about your Bible, but anyways, I don't want to get to the Bible. I don't really care. Blah, 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 Bible. Bible. Okay, why you, why Allah saying there's no God but He if He is the one who's talking? Why not? What do you mean? No, now? what's wrong with that? What do you mean? No, no, what do you mean? It's wrong. <laughs> if I am talking, no, I, I will say it's me. I don't no, say you I, are keep, talking about I don't Allah. I don't keep saying it is He unless it is He. Do you do your God He suffer from Shafranidza, which means He think He is many many person. If your God, you keep saying to us, you Muslim, you keep saying to us, Allah is one. But the guy, he keeps saying, it is he, it is he, it is he, it is he. So who is the other person speaking? Is Allah one person or two person? Allah also said we. So what is your point? Okay. When he say we, we ask you why you say he is trying to make himself majesty, correct? I mean, that is what I, I, I heard and what I learned. Okay. Correct? So now he is saying it is he. He don't want to be majestic more. Why he is saying it is he? Give me the logic. No, why not? That's, that's my. I'm asking you why. Why yes? Why he say it is he when he is the one? Is he? Why not? No, the, the same. I'm the same. Okay, let let me let me is, let us make it clear. Let us make it clear. Is your God Allah have a family? He begets, no, he's he begotten, no, he, he doesn't have a family. Okay, so he don't have a family. Mm -hmm. He don't have a family. Sorry? He do not have a family. He doesn't. Okay. If you don't have a family, do he speak in anywhere in the Quran that if you want to take a partner, he will take it from ourself? Sorry? I cannot. I Did your God Allah in the Quran point. say, did the Quran say, uh -huh. Anywhere that your God Allah said that if you want to huh? take a wife for sex, he will take a partner from ourself. Partner from ourselves. Okay, continue. Yeah, I, I assume you found it did, in the did Quran he, and then did you he, it. Did somehow. he? Did oh, he? Did he? the verse of the Quran. Show me. Okay, here we go. We go to the Quran. No problem. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <coughs> <laughs> Which translation you like? Which translation any full translation. of lies you like? No, any translation full of lies I like. So okay. any translation will do. Read for me. Up to your standard. Had we wished to make a diversion, we would made it from before ourselves. 
What verse is it? Here, this is your translation. By the way, it doesn't say before, it doesn't say, it says from our self, from our kind. Uh -huh, from our kind. What is our kind? What is the kind what of verse? Allah? Chapter 21, verse number 17. What is the kind of Allah? 21, mm. verse 17. Mm. Randia, chapter 17. Mm. If it had been our wish to take a pastime, we surely have 2117, right? Mm. If it had been our wish mm. to take a pastime, mm. we should surely have taken it from the nearest to us. If we do such Nowhere a thing. it says nearest to us. This is a lie. It says Laduna, our self. It doesn't say mm -hmm. nearest to us. This is a lie. There's doesn't say near, okay. nearest to us. What nearest to us? It doesn't say that. It says Min Laduna. Laduna is our kind. As an example, your child is from the dunna, which means huh? from your blood, from your kind. Okay. Yeah. So Allah will take a partner from the dunna, from his kind, our self. What is our self? How many Allah you have? Do Allah have cousins? He want to marry them. <laughs> Allah want to have sex with who? Read with me tafsir al jalalain so we can love together, me and you. Okay, sure. Do you Go see the, Do you see the screen? I don't I can't I can't see the screen. Okay, I will send you I will send you the link so you can read it with me. Okay. 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 Open the link. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, found it. It says, had we desire to find some diversion in which provide diversion in the way of a partner, which means a female, or a child or a son. We could found it with ourself from among the beautiful eyed huris or the angels. Oh, wait. That's here. Let me open it. How that can be true? How okay, repeat what I just said. Had we desired to find some div uh, di division, diversion, that which provides diversion in the way of a partner or a child who would find it with our and your point is my point is your God saying he will take a partner from ourself okay how he is ourself how he have ourself how he will have sex with himself or he if there is if there is someone else from his ourself you consider from the same kind you know Arabic, I don't know Arabic, right? Okay, this is not about Arabic, that. my friend. Now stop playing no, games. No, listen, this listen, is your interpretation. I'm showing it to you. I'm showing it to you in no. English. This is not in Arabic uh -huh. no more. This is your scholar, this is your translation. This is the official government okay. of, of Kingdom of Jordan. So don't stop no. playing. No. Our no, self, who? God. Our self, who? Allah will have partner from ourself. Explain to me. Didn't Allah use the word our? Mm -hmm. Our self. He did not just use our, he said our self. No, no, no. Ourselves comes from we. we no, he did not use the word we. He did not use the word we. we. He did not use the word you. We. He used the word laduna. Here we go. Stop steaming the donkey. He used the word laduna. He did not say we. He did not okay. say the word we. He said min laduna. And what I have to say. Are you going to listen? I'm not going to listen. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, we, our, ourselves. Allah is that over and over again. Did Allah not use that? My friend, He will take a partner from ourself. He will take a partner from ourself. Okay. Okay. Who is ourself? So what, what does it prove? What does it prove anything? That's mean ourself is not one person because ourself, <laughs> He is a partner. It's not, cannot be Allah Him. It cannot be. Me. Are you saying to me, Allah will have sex with Himself? You said in the Billah, but. Abdul, when he say he want to take a partner for sex, the word here lahu in Arabic mean women, and I can show you from the dictionary. So he's saying if you want to take a woman for sex, for fun, we will take it from Laduna, from ourself. So if Allah is one and he is not a female, Allah will F who? Allah is not Fing anyone. Well, here it says he will F because he want to have a child. He is saying, if I want to have a child, I am going to if the black eyed hoories. Don't you see it? There's a tough C, right? It's in the front of you. 
How Allah, know, how Allah is God and He is not a man, but the beautiful eyed Huris are qualified to be in His bed if He is not a man. Those are women. Are you from Allah? Are what? you from God? What? Are you from God? What do you mean, are you from God? What does that mean? No. Were you created by Allah? I created Allah. No, Muhammad created Allah. No, no. Allah is a joke. Oh, as you see okay. here, as you oh. see, how your God Allah is one God and nothing like Him, but yet, don't stop being stupid. Don't play games. How Allah will have sex? Explain to me how Allah will have sex with the beautiful eyed women when they are women. Oh my God. Don't say, Oh my God. So say, Oh my Allah. So respect yourself. Say, Oh my Allah. Say, Oh my, my pagan God, Allah, the black stone God. How God will have sex with the beautiful eyed women? Answer. Do your God have a penis? Do your God have a penis? Do you? Do you? Do your God have a? Do your God have a penis? Allah did not reveal that, so I don't know. So, but he is saying, if you want to take a partner, he tell us from who? From the beautiful eyed women. But those are women. How Allah will sleep with women unless he is a man? Were you created by Allah? These women were created by Allah. You, 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 are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? I'm asking you a very simple question. How Allah will sleep with women if they are women? He is not man. He are is he a man? He's not a man. Okay. How he is going to have sexual relationship to make them pregnant to give him a child unless he himself is a man like them? Uh, let me read so I can think mm. about how you think. How squeeze you it, squeeze it. Then you squeeze it. How you manipulate these words, mm. Allah. It's so easy, it's over here. Yeah, it's so easy. Had we desired to find mm. some diversion that we provide diversion in the mm. way of a partner or a child, we would found it with ourselves. We would have found it with ourselves mm. from among the beautiful eyed booties <laughs> or angels. What were we to do so? But we did not do so, mm. thus, we never desired it. Mm. So, yes. What and is your point? The point is, your God saying, He, if you want to have sex, He will f the hories or the angels. But we did not do so. But if He desire, He will do it. That's it. possible. If He desire, He will do it. He told us but exactly. You see, your, your your God, He told us what kind of cup of tea He like to have sex with. He said, if I want to f, I will f the black eyed women and the angels. And by the way, by the way, hold on. Is, you decide, is the, but is I, the angels sure. is the angel in Islam are they male or female? Allah alam. I don't know. What do you mean Allah alam? Are you saying that uh, Allah is a gay? No. Maybe you are. I don't so know. I'm asking you now: Is the angel in Islam are they male or female? I don't know. What, do you, don't know. Know. what do you mean? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? No. Isn't it the Quran say? What well, isn't it the Quran speak about that? What? What? Well, how much you know about your religion? No, I know a few. I know quite a few things from my religion. In chapter because, thirty-seven, think, verse number one fifty. Shut up! Shut up! In chapter thirty-seven, so shut up! It show you that how ignorant you are. Uh, In chapter thirty-seven, verse one fifty, says that the angels are not females. So how Allah is going to if how Allah is going to if the angels if the angels are not females? Oh gosh, thirty-seven. Uh, what? There's many verses you can go, you know, uh, chapter 37, verse 153, uh, 53, uh, uh, 150, sorry, uh, chapter 43, verse number 19. How Allah will if the angels, if the angels are male? What's wrong with your no, God? What's wrong? What's wrong with your what's what's wrong with your God? He says there. It says if you want to take a partner, we will if either the uh, the, the black eyed women, so. my friend. He, but he, this is possible. He says if I want to do it, I will do it with this but or that. We did not so, so we look, look what it says. It. Look what it says. Love with me, everybody. Look how stupid this religion is. And they made the angels them who are servant of the beneficent Allah females. So the pagans they made the angels female, but they are not. So as long they are not females, and your God Allah agree that they are not females, how here he say if he wish to have sex, he will have sex with the Huris or the angels. Your God but Allah is not, a gay, my friend. Oh my, what 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 don't you understand? Allah did not. We isn't uh, it him? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. If somebody, so? if somebody asks me, Christian Press, Prince, hold on, hold on, hold on. If somebody says to me, Christian Prince, 
what kind of mm. partner you like to have and then i start counting michael jackson start counting etc that's mean the person is a gay obviously why he is counting the angels as a possible sex partner when the quran confirmed that they are male oh my god don't say my god so my gay god uh you're such a funny man you know you know, yeah, it's very uh, funny. Like what the, I showed you the Quran. The I showed thing. you the Quran confirmed that the angels are male, and yet your God saying, if I want to have sex, I'm going to have sex with the angels you breathe. Allah never decided to do so. It says that he, he don't have a desire. Maybe he changed his mind. This is an old news. At that time, he was not horny. We do not know now what happened mm. since then. So this is a speculation. A sick man. It's not no. a speculation. It's in front of you. What kind of God he said if when I take a partner will take partner from the black-eyed women how he can Never have sex with the black-eyed women unless he is is Allah you only abrogates ruling what abrogate this is not about about ruling you idiot what ruling there do you see uh, a ruling no. there see, 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 see. what's ruling see, see, do you see a ruling now do you see any ruling there do you see nah, any ruling what nah, does it have to do nah. with ruling he if we wish what ruling what ruling what ruling what ruling he said no, if I will if I want you're trying to speak over me. Just give me a headache, man. Just get lost. Stupid people. Don't call me again. <laughs> no, no, don't call me again. That's it. I'm done with you. Get lost. I have a headache. <clears throat> Isn't it obvious in front of us? They give us a speech about Allah as being one, but yet Allah, He says ourself, and He want to F ourself. And then what is the uh, what, uh, what the Muslim because the Muslims are confused how Allah is one but yet he want to f himself how we can solve this problem so they come with the story trying to give the, their God a stupid excuse by saying oh he will take it from the beautiful eyed Huris all of this is just to give excuse about the stupidity of Muhammad when he said that. Muhammad, he get his God busted. How Allah is one, but yet he is saying from ourself. Ourself what? They cannot say now Allah, he say we as a majestic. He's talking about taking a partner for sex. If we want to take partner for self, we will take it with ourself. So either you agree that your God Allah have a penis and his penis is so long and is going to go to his bum and he will do himself. Or you agree that there's other partner, he will have sex with him. So the Muslim to solve the problem, they add their own interpretation saying, oh, Allah is going to have sex with the beautiful eyed Huris or the angels if he wish. The interpretation is just a solution for the problem. Otherwise, where does Kyler he get this from? He's just trying to find out how we can solve this issue. Allah will take a partner from ourselves. Partner, it's not about glory to us as before they say to us, he say us like he's majestic. This is about taking a partner for sex. And the word here in Arabic, lahwan specifically is a female. Lahwan is a word mean female in the Arab dialect, which means fun, which means is an insult to women. Women are not a partner, women are fun. It's just for sex, just for one night stand. So if we want to take a partner for sex, lahwan, for fun, we will take it from ourself. And that's mean there's many of ourselves. It can't be two. It have to be three and more. Because when you say ourself, it cannot be two. Do you say from our both? Ourself, it's mean many. How many we do not know? Three, four, ten, one hundred, one million, we do not know. No, in Islam, angels, they have gender. In Islam, the angels are male. Don't mix between Christianity and Islam, please. In Islam, angels, they have a penis and they are male. And Allah, he was complaining that the Arab, they made the angels females. And that is telling you that when the Muslim they say that the Arab they used to be bad to the females, that's false. Because as you know, the Arab they worship even females. Allah Himself have three goddesses, and they are three daughters, and they are females. And not only that, 
the Arab they accept that angels are females so the Arab did never put the women down as the Muslim they lie to us it is the Muslims who reject that angels can be females it is Muslims who reject that God can be females and Allah and the angels both are males Any Abdul? Yeah, Allah, he have a two personality. He think he is many, many. He's the same as the guy in the movie. It's called The Perfect Host. I advise you to watch that movie, The Perfect Host. Let me let me search for the movie for you so you can, you know, I cannot play it for you, but, you know, we can just to show you the name. <clears throat> It, this movie is perfectly describing the case of Muhammad. The perfect host. Do you see it? If you watch the movie, you will see that this this is really literally about a crazy, crazy man who he imagined things happening around him, but in fact nothing is real. He see people talking to him. He, he even he have sex with them. Uh, he have visitors. He write letters to himself. This is exactly Muhammad. This is why I advise you actually if you want to understand the nature of Islam and the founder of Islam Muhammad Watch this movie, but just be careful. There's there's a like there's a sexual scene in this movie, but it's a crazy movie About a sick man who he write even postcard to himself from his girlfriend So what happened? There is a guy who is supposed to he commit a robbery and he want to escape So he is looking for a house to get in like a rich area. They have villas so he asked, uh, he, he started looking around to get in. Nobody will get him in. So later, in, uh, you know, in the movie, he found like a mailbox and he found some letters outside. So he opened them and he found a letter coming from a girlfriend to her boyfriend. And he thought, oh, oh, now I will get in and I will claim that I am the friend of this girlfriend to this guy. But what he did not know that this guy, he is a mentally ill and he is the one who is writing the postcard to himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Efran, you are you are being a stupid man. You see, I'm done with you. Call me tomorrow. Tomorrow I will give you a chance. <laughs> the perfect host, Muhammad. You're a prophet. He write Quran to himself. He claimed that Allah speak Quran to himself, and this is why he get himself busted. He says is he says stupid things. If we go in the Quran trying to find one thing is wise, we cannot find. It is the most stupid book ever. The funny as an example, just to show you the stupidity of your prophet. Look what your God is complaining about. He is saying to the, belie the disbelievers, what? What's wrong with you? Do you think Allah, he will take for himself females and he will give you the males? So Allah is speaking of a logic of a Bedouin Arab man. Hello? Do you think that I will, I will, me, Allah, will accept that all my kids are females and you have the boys? This is how God he talk? This is how God he talk? Like, uh, 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 what's wrong with you? Huh? For you, the boys, and for me, the females? In different verse, actually, he said, this is a just division. Allah is crying out, saying, this is not right. You take the male, the, the male for you as boys, and you give me the females?
Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? How this is can be from God? Maybe, maybe. And then now, after all this conversation, we could not get any answer about who is Allah. And guys, did you get any answer about who is Allah? Or oh, what he said to us, Allah is God. That's it. Allah is God who don't like to have daughters. He he like to have sons. Let me show you another stupid verse Muhammad he made in the Quran. Allah want to explain why he don't have a son. Why? Well, his story is the same as a Christian prince. He don't have a girlfriend. As simple as that. Have you ever heard of such a stupidity? How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Why the Christians, they believe that God, he have a girlfriend, her name is Mary, and they have a son, his name is Jesus? Is that what the Christians believe? This is officially stupid. How you convince us that Mary, she have no boyfriend because the same Quran says that Mary, she never have a man. So you are saying to me in one page in the Quran that Mary, she have no boyfriend, yet she can have a son. In other page, you say to me that you cannot have a son unless you have a girlfriend. So which one of them is correct? This is a chapter six, verse number 101. And but the funny, this verse in the chapter of the animals, and, and I mean the animals. I mean, have you ever heard of God? He described what happened to him in the chapter of the animals. I'm so glad he did not make a chapter of the chicken. Any Muslim? This is a chapter 6, verse 101. Any smart Muslim who can say something to us is smart, not like this kid who keeps jumping like a monkey from place to place. You know, sometimes when I debate a Muslim, I try to debate them without turning the fan. Because they are made of dust. You turn the fan, he's all over the place. Don't ever turn the fan when you're talking to a Muslim. He will be all over. You cannot even catch him. Like what, what he's talking about, we do not know. The question, who is Allah? And after two hours of talking, we could not get any answer. Who is Allah? He, all what he said to me is God. There once there was a Muslim, he wanted to cheat in the exam. So he write the cheating in the fan on the fan, uh, you know, like uh, wings, when the fan was off. So when the teacher came, he turned the fan on. So what the Muslim guy he was doing, he was moving his head with the fan. I mean, this is how smart they are. Don't turn the fan on. He will make you dizzy and you he, he will get dizzy. Who is the Muslim can tell us who is Allah? Until now we got zero answer after two hours being here. Zero answer. Who is Allah? Oh, what you know that he is God? That's it? Well, nice to meet you. Anyone? So all this noise about worshipping God and God is the only God and nice to meet your God and God is amazing God but yet you do not know who is your God.
can you cover the book of menstruation why you want to cover the menstruation let the menstruation open so everybody can smell it have you ever heard of a book it's called book of menstruation I mean what kind of religion there's there's a book the, the book of effing the book of menstruation nice to meet you Any Abdul can tell us who is Allah. Hmm? Yeah, so what do you mean does it exist? For sure. Kitabul Haid, the book of menstruation, is a very important book for the Muslims. This is the only way to know about Allah, is from menstruation. Aisha, she have a lot of scandals there. The prophet, he used to embrace me, just to make it simple, by the way. Muhammad, he told the Muslim, don't do anything to your wife when they have their period. But look what the idiot is doing. He ordered his wife to put Izar. Izar is a piece of fabric. She put it in her private part when she is bleeding. And he fondled her. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? This guy he have many wives. I mean, why you are going to sleep with the one she have a she have a period? Go to the other one. You have thirteen women and many sex slaves. Do you see it? And Aisha, you know, she is a CNN. Hello, everybody. The prophet used to order me to put a sheet between my legs and the blood is dripping and coming. And actually, there's a hadith that says even the prophet's clothes was, was full of blood too. The guy is fondling her and the blood is all over him. Look, all those stories. Do you see it? Maimuna said, Allah Apostle was praying while I was in the menses sitting beside him, and sometimes his clothes would touch me during the prostration. And uh, a small mat sufficient just in the face of the end. Let me show you more. Hold on. Madness, madness. You know, it's like. All of this is about menstruation. All of this about say about about uh, about uh, women having blood. All those stories. Look, all, 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 all. You know. Read this one. Uh, let us see this one. Hold on. Okay, read this one. Narrated Aisha, she said, I and the Messenger of Allah, S A W S M F M M O M Mercedes, used to pass the night in one piece of a cloth on me. What? While I menstruated, prof, profus, profusely, I don't know how to say this word. I don't know. Forgive me, guys. My English is funny. Like Zach and I. If anything from me, i.e. blood, smeared him, i.e. his body, he would wash that spot and would not exceed it. Profuse lie, profuse lie. I don't know how to say it. I need a week to learn how to say this word. What is that? Hmm? Oh. 
I and the messenger of Allah used to lie in one cloth at night in one cloth they wear one dress together Come on, let me say, guys, forget about the word. Let me say Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is easy. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. She was saying Bruce Lee. Forget it. Yeah. Any Abdul? And not only, I mean, the, the, the wives of Muhammad, they are really a scandal station. Look at this one as an example. <clears throat> Read this one. One of the wives of Allah, Apostle, practiced itikaf with him while she had a bleeding in between her period, and she would see red blood or yellowish traces and sometime we put a tree beneath her when she afford the prayer. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, CNN breaking the news. The prophet wife, she noticed there is yellowish traces coming from her vagina and she put the tray between her legs. Allahu Akbar. What is that? They are so good telling us about the vagina of the prophet, but nobody can tell us who is Allah. And by the way, this is mean that the prophet wives they have an infection because I have been told by a doctor once I was speaking about this a doctor he called me and he said this means she have infection because women they have such a thing only if they have an infection STD. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim have anything to say? So as you notice guys, not a single Muslim can tell us who is Allah. All what they know about their funny God that he is God. Anything else? No. He is a shin, he have a leg, he have a face, he have two hands in the right side and that's all what we know. Thank you very much. Anyone is willing to follow such an ignorant God who do not know anything about him and he says stupid things Like the women have a sperm coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone And the baby was a sperm and then became a, a, a piece of of, uh, uh, of, of a chewing uh, Bite and then we made him bones and then we closed the bones with meat This is God? Who is Allah? And even Allah in the Quran, He keeps saying the same thing. He don't say who's He. Look, that is Allah, your Lord. There's no God but He. So who's talking? And He is the one who created all things. This is a lie. If he is the one who created all things, so how you say in the Quran that he is the best of the creators? Well, that would be a contradiction. When the Quran said that he is the best of the creators, and you say to me, he is the one who created for you everything, that means Allah is a liar. Because you cannot be the best of the creators if there is no other creator. So who is Allah? Was Allah here exaggerating and lying, saying he is the best of the creators, but there's no other creators?
when I say I am the best of mankind that's mean there's mankind if I am the only human I cannot say I'm the best of mankind that would be stupid any Muslim can answer how Allah is the best of mankind let me see let me see if this uh, guy of Ron I just I wanted to have a because he gave me a headache to be honest with you I will see if he's still online I will call him I forgive him I, I have a connection with Allah because I speak Arabic he don't speak Arabic so I can ask Allah to uh, you know we, we are Arab together we are from the same ethnic group you know and we have connection what was his name this guy I cannot find his name. Here we go. Let us see. Answer, rabbit, answer. He's not answering. The string is giving me a headache. Okay, forget it. Who is a Muslim can call us and tell us how Allah is the best of the creators? Anyone? Somebody just sent me a picture. I want to share it with you. <laughs> Actually, this would be a good for a cover, for a book cover. Quran and science. Christian Prince, the Arabian prophet. I mean, this is the science of Allah. And those are the sperm. Look at their teeth. One is having a teeth and the other one wearing eyeglasses. glasses. <laughs> That's a good one. Very good one. Funny. Actually, the one who made this, obviously, is an artist. You know, you have to be an artist to do this. And you have to have a great imagination. Man, that's good. I think you're Allah, the one who did this, because Jesus created something Allah Himself cannot create. Me. All right. Do we have any Abdul when I explain to us how Allah is the best of the creators if there's no other creators? Anyone? Nobody? We are out of them? Take beer? Allah is the best of the creators. Talk about Tawheed. Tawheed is a stupid actually. The second a Muslim he said the word Tawheed, it's mean he believed that Allah is not one. Because Tawheed in Arabic means unification, does not mean oneness. Obviously, the one who used that term is an idiot, certified idiot, proving to us that Allah cannot be one. You can ask anyone to make a sentence using the word Tawheed in Arabic. He will say, as an example, Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiya, unified the, the, the Arabian states. This is what Tawheed means. Tawheed does not mean oneness. Tawheed means unification.
Any Muslim? Nobody? Allah is the best of the creators. What was that a false claim or a true claim? Allah is the best of the creators. True claim or false claim? Maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see this guy. <coughs> Answer me, Mr. Muslim. Hello? Hello, yeah. So, uh, you, you know, my friend, you are listening to us live on air? No. Okay, we are talking about the Quran in chapter 23, verse number 14. The verse says that Allah is the best of the creators. Do you agree with that verse? The best of the creators? Yeah. Uh, Allah is the, the, the creator of everything. So I, I thought we were going to talk about many topics. Is this a TV channel or something? Yeah, we are live on air right now, my friend. People that are yeah, listening. Where? We are in YouTube. How, so how you find about me? Why are you contacting me if you do not know who you are? Someone sent me uh, your details and said have a conversation. Oh, okay, so we are live on air right now, my friend, and we are speaking okay. about the chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, where the verse says that Allah is the best of the creators. What do you think about that? Do you agree that Allah is the best of the creators? What's the point of the pandemic? So, for example, let's. I'm not very knowledgeable. I came to speak to a random layman on the online. And now on a on a YouTube channel on a live air. So what's what's the point you're trying to make? Can you tell I'm me? I'm just trying to have a conversation with you, trying to learn from you. What what is your taking of this? How Allah He say He is the best of the creators if He is the only creator? Of course Allah is the only creator, but where would you say you're saying he's it says he's the best of creators, yeah? Which I just go to the, the verse, verse, chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen. Chapter, Jesus is chapter 23 verse number 14 how Allah he say he is the best of the creators and you agreed that according to Islam supposedly Allah here we go hang up <laughs> hang up what a funny religion what a funny stupid religion Allah is the best of the creators By the way, I am the best between all the Christian prince. A Christian prince, there's only one Christian prince. It doesn't matter. I am the best of Christian prince. But how you are the only one, but you are the best of Christian prince? I mean, what? Anyone? This is a religion. Every verse you read it, you, you laugh. And look at this as an example. In the heaven, my friend, I have a good news for you. We are going to have a grape and palm trees. And you will eat from it. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, that's amazing. That is something special, actually. Right? Any Muslim? And there's a tree grows in the Mount of Sinai, which produce oil and condiment for you. It grows only there. You never heard of oil, oil trees, olive trees? 
the coconut they provide I mean there is tons of trees that do that and you have surely a lesson for you the cattle we make a drink from their belly we drink from their belly are you sure hmm. and even the ship is made by Allah the submarine made by Allah look at this any Abdul in the bushes may they may they Allah is the best of the creators false or real who are the creators nobody all right don't forget to voy to watch guys the video I made a few hours ago we have two videos today I mean I know they are long they came too long I mean but those who have time they can watch them and they can learn a lot from them but as you see Islam is a stupid religion and most of do not know who is their God they keep bragging about this God Allah Allah the second you ask him who is he or oh, what they say to you is God who is he Muhammad never saw him never spoke to him never met him how you know that he saw God or he spoke to God he never spoke to God even you Muslim confirm that the guy who is teaching you about God he himself he never met the God How many times we heard the Muslim saying that Allah he took Muhammad to heaven? Is that true? How many of you heard that? All the time, right? But not even a single verse in the Quran saying that. How such a thing is not in the Quran? The Quran saying that Allah he took Muhammad to the farther mosque. That's it. And that's supposed to in Jerusalem, according to Muslims. Nowhere it says he took him to the heaven. How such an incident is not in the Quran? Which one is more important, Suleiman and the bird who is missing, and the ant who was talking to the ants, or Muhammad going to heaven to be mentioned? By the way, guys, this is between me and YouTube and Twitter, and please don't share with anyone. Please, just between us. Yesterday, I was sitting alone, and uh, a very beautiful, sexy donkey very beautiful very white and she have a bracelet in her hands and she was wearing like a very nice bra she knocked with her head on the window and she spoke to me in Arabic because the donkeys of Allah they speak Arabic only you know you know that and I'm lucky I speak Arabic too because I'm an Arab as you know she said to me assalamu alaikum and I was looking like what the heck I shake my head up and down and shake it, shake it, shake it around, and all oh, what I can see, a white donkey around me. I turn my head up and down, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all oh, what I can see, a white donkey speaking to me. So I said to myself, Oh Allah, what's happening? The donkey, she spoke to me in Arabic, and she said that she is the special limousine of Allah, and he sent her to me. I jumped and the donkey start taking me from kingdom to a kingdom the first kingdom I want to it was uh, uh, coca-cola in the kingdom of coca-cola we open a coca-cola they give me the angel day they give me a coca-cola I open it and I found in the top it says la ilaha illallah then we said we went to the second kingdom the kingdom of watermelon the angel he gave me a watermelon we cut it off and we found inside it says la ilaha illallah we went to the third kingdom is the kingdom of the goats and they give me a goat in the skin of the goat it says there's a tattoo it says la ilaha illallah and to make the story short brother we keep going from kingdom to kingdom wherever we go we find la ilaha illallah until we you know one somebody he gave me a shoe i flip the shoe it says la ilaha illallah at the end of the day, I really get dizzy because whatever you go around you, you see a la ilaha illallah. And then 
the 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 uh, the donkey got tired. She told me she want to take a nap. The donkey she took a nap, and I took that as an advantage for me, so I can go around. I opened the door where we've been. This is, was in the fourth floor in the heaven of Allah, and guess what I found there? Big screen TV, and have a lot of versions. To be honest with you, they don't look like version at all. They look very expert, and they knew what they are doing. And they start looking at me, saying to me, show me, answer me, silence me. And I was like, what? I saw this before. Where, where, where? I cannot remember where. I hold the remote control, and I play again, replay. And then the version, they said to me, show me, silence me, answer me. And I was saying, that, wow, is he one of them? He became a version? Or maybe they are a copy of each other. And anyway, to make the story short, this is a true story, by the way. I swear by Allah, it's a true story. I mean, how many of you here don't believe me? Come on, be honest with me. The, the second I say the Prophet said so, everybody will believe. I mean, look at the hypocrisy of the Muslims. Say any lie you want. As long as you say the Prophet said, everybody say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Nobody will discuss with you and nobody dare to say he did not say that. Hmm. There's no witnesses. Nobody saw the donkey of Muhammad. Nobody saw Muhammad going. Nobody saw Muhammad leaving. Nobody saw Muhammad coming. Not even his wives. Yeah, only 341. They like the video because my video is not really good. You know, by the way, Christian people, you need to tell them to do things in order to do it. Muslims, they watch a video, support Islam, right away they give like or share, etc. You don't even need to tell them. Christian, they have to say, brother, hold your hand. Okay, yeah, yeah, your hand. Yeah, no, no, this hand. Yeah, put it there, put it there and give a like, okay? And then they will like it. If you tell them that. If you don't tell them, they will never even remember it. But anyway, who care? I'm not waiting for their hand to say I like you or not. I do what I need to do. Do we have any Abdul? Any Abdul? What do you mean true story? All my stories are true. Did I tell you that my grandfather, he used to have a flying carpet? I swear by Allah. And his flying carpet can carry 600,000 chairs. Literally. I mean, and there's no gas. I mean, you see Allah, the, the, the beautiful thing about Allah, he is go green. He knew that oil and etc. will destroy the environment, brother. So he designed a flying carpet does not need any oil. 600,000 chairs, Muhammad. Don't you think you are exaggerating with your lies? 600,000 chairs. I mean, make it 60 chair. Make it 6,000 chair. Make it 60,000 chair. But 600,000 chairs, I mean, this is really too much. Oh, what about you make it like 599,000 chair? That is more acceptable. 600,000 chair, and not only that, this is only the chairs. In the top of that, all his animals, all his dogs, all his cows, all his horses, all his camels, all, all the, the whole kingdom is a flying. Any Muslim want to say to me, I'm lying, so I can show the reference. Any one? Any two? Any three? No? <clears throat> yeah, I look like there's no Muslim here is proud about Allah. And nobody knows anything about Allah anyway. Right? They are just followers. They have no idea what Islam is about. Anyone? May they, may they. Al-Buraq, 
uh, the donkey of Muhammad he was called al Buraq. the reason he was called al Buraq because supposedly he is very fast al Buraq is coming from the word Barq from Baraka like it's a lighting burn a thunder you know so al Buraq let's see Here. from his father that the messenger of Allah said when he reached Baytul Maqdis Jibreel pointed his finger causing a crack in the rock and he tied al Burak. look at this joke guys hold on Allah he sent a donkey from the seven heaven seven galaxy to Muhammad the donkey came by himself and now Muhammad is worried that the donkey will run away so Jibreel, he put his finger in the rock in the wall and he made a hole in it so they can tie the donkey and that is very logical. Think about it. Imagine Allah, he sent you a donkey and then you lose it or somebody steal it. A magical donkey. So Jibreel, he put his finger in the rock and he make a hole and they tied up al Burak. al Burak, you cannot go now. Okay, al Burak. Oh, oh, yeah, you cannot go. I tied you up. Don't try. Oh, don't try to bite the rope or to make it cut off. Okay, you cannot. We tied you up. Oh, oh, oh. shut up. Obey me. Otherwise, I will report you to Allah. I mean, this must be a true story. <laughs> Any Abdul? Hmm. Here you will see another story about Al Burak. So the two of them remind a book the back of Al Burak. What two of them? Allah and Jibreel, they are riding Al Burak together. Even Jibreel, he cannot fly. Jibreel himself is riding Al Burak. Me. and they saw the paradise and the fire and all what has been prepared for the hereafter then they returned back where they began he said they say that he was fettered but for what because he might flee the knower of the unseen and the witness subdued him or sorry subdued him anyone understand anything no obviously here Jibreel maybe his wings were broken this is why he's writing Al Burak I'm guessing you know because we are, by the way, we can fly too. Uh, you remember 9-11? But we do not know how to do landing. Because we go to school to learn how to fly, but we don't know how to do landing because this, we don't care about landing. We know we want to fly and hit the building. So I think Jibril is the same case. So he know how to fly, but he doesn't know how to do landing. So he is using Al-Burak so for landing purpose. I mean, just a logical thing, you know. By the way, I want to join. I want to join a, a school to learn how to fly, but not to how to land. How to land? I, I told them. They told me the it cost you the like uh, the tuition uh, three hundred thousand dollar. I told them I will pay one hundred fifty because I want to learn only how to fly. I don't want to learn how to land. They said to me, "Why?" I said, "I'm an Arab." I said, oh, "Okay, that makes sense." No. Any Abdul? You should see, guys, when I meet people around me and I say to them, I am an Arab, right away the face of the person he would change. He said, Huh? I say, I'm an Arab. Uh, uh, like, as if you cut a nerve or something, like, suddenly, like, the air is not coming through his throat. Huh? I am an Arab. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know what? I have to go. 
well nice talking to you okay and uh, see you the end of the conversation any Abdul no trust me this is a true story people they don't like to talk to us what we can say I don't blame them <clears throat> I don't blame them any Abdul any Abdul any Abdul so after all those hours not even one Muslim can tell us who is Allah the same drama each time you see the second we ask who is Allah no Muslim call because there is nobody have an answer for this ask him all kind of silly questions they will answer you the second you ask who is Allah or oh, what they knew that he is God thank you very much Yeah, do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Man, you do you chase me? Do you? Do you? Don't say that to the FBI. And they will say, do, do you? Do, do. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. Look at the Muslim now. We ask, we asking the Muslims who is Allah. He answer us, say Shahada. <laughs> pagans Muslims are a pagan people who associate the name of a man his name is Muhammad with the name of their God they cannot even say the name of their God without putting the name of a man with the name of their God for they are pagan Mushrikeen Ayyuhal Mushrik Alladhi tusammi isma Muhammad ma ismi ismi rabbuka rabbul alameen my voice is like George Jonas. Who is George Jonas? Is he good? Don't say that. I think his voice is like mine. I don't like to be the same as the. I am the best of the creators, man. I am like Allah. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Hello, hello, it's me you're looking for, and we are asking for a question, and not even one of you. Hello, where is the Muslims? Secretly are hiding. Okay, well, you know what? As long as there's no Muslims to answer us. Let us let us read something uh, uh, maybe interesting. What do you think? Uh, should we switch for something interesting? I mean, obviously, uh, no Muslims will answer us, even if we wait for, uh, 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 you know, for 10,000 years. All right? Okay. If we ask the Muslims, <clears throat> where is the sea? What the Muslims, they will say. Where is the sea? Who is a Muslim want to tell us? <clears throat> Shall I call Zakir Naik? Let us finish. Let us finish. Uh, uh, as, I mean, find the story first about the sea. You believe it or not? The Muslim they believe that in the heaven there is additional sea. <sighs> mm. All right. They said, Do you know what is the distance between the heaven and the earth? They replied, We do not know. He said, The distance between them is 71, 72, or 73 years. <laughs> 72 again and 72 73 okay 
which one of them is correct 72 is you're not sure I mean your God Allah did not tell you exact number you are not sure 71 72 like the inspiration is not clear guys the reception is not good hold on hold on. let me let me fix the uh, uh, let me fix the inspiration uh, because I'm not receiving really a clear message hold hold on please um, uh, uh, 70 um, um, uh, 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 71 uh, 70 uh, mm, uh, hold on I'm, I'm trying to understand uh -huh. okay it confirmed now it is either 71 or 72 or 73 <laughs> Allah knows best <laughs> How in the heck this guy is speaking? Is it 71? Are you a prophet? I mean, where do you get this knowledge from? What do you mean 71 or 72 or 73? Which one is of them? The reception not clear? The, the antenna is not working? He broke it? Maybe, maybe, maybe he broke the antenna of inspiration of Allah? And then he continued. The wisdom is coming. The heaven, which is above it, at this at a similar distance going on until he counted seven heavens above the seventh heaven there is a sea da -da 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 -da. the pirate of the caribbean da -da 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 muslims Above the seven heavens, there is a sea. Can I do fishing there? Are you sure? Hello? I mean, how Muhammad is sure if the reception was not good that this was a sea? Maybe it was a lake. How, how Prophet Muhammad is sure? And then the story continue. The distance between who is surface and the bottom or the bomb, which means the, the, the sea, is the distance, is like the distance between the heaven and the next, which means 72, 71, 73 years. Above that, there are eight mountains. Ooh. Goats, man, there's eight mountain goats. There's eight mountain goats. The distance between whose hooves and hunches is the light, the distance between one heaven and next. Look how big man does goats. And guess who is above the goats? Anyone can guess. Who is above the goats? Who is above the goats? Who can guess? Above the eight goats. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah, the blessed, the exalted, is above that. Mean I wish I can take a selfie with this. How I can go there? I want to take pictures of those goats. Allah in the top of eight mountain goats, but we have to be careful here. As you see, those goats are very huge. They are not like normal size. So if you have a goat in your mind, don't think it's the same goat, the, the goat who ate the Quran. You remember the goat which ate the Quran? Do, do you remember it? This is bigger, a lot bigger. 
very big mountain goat. Uh, uh, let me show you. Hold on. I'm just trying to refresh your memory because I know most of you are old, not like me. I'm the only young here, the only young between you. Uh, and I feel sorry for you. I mean, it's just you know, it's not your fault to be old or anything. Don't 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 be negative about that. It's okay. And you know, uh, the Prophet himself, he had a plastic surgery, so you can do plastic surgery for you. Isn't the Quran says Allah He made a plastic surgery for the chest of Muhammad so he can increase the size of his breast? I can show you the version from the Quran. I'm serious. But anyway, this is not the topic for now. Let's focus on something more and more important. Uh, if we go where we can find those things, hold on. <coughs> Mm. I'm trying to find you. Oh, here we go, I think. No, not this one. Not this one. Mm, I don't know. I can't find it. Ah. Look like I lost this, uh, the goat which is missing. Yeah, I cannot find the picture. I was trying to look for it and try to find it, but I could not. Uh, I have a picture of the wanted goat, the one who ate the Quran. Um, and look like I am, sadly, I cannot find it. Man, oh man. Okay, hold on, let me search. Maybe I can find this uh, image. I, I am the one, actually. I made this goat by myself. Oh, here we go. I found something similar, actually. I use this image for that. Uh, this is the goat we are talking about, if you remember. The goat who, which is accused of eating the Quran and actually was like red, uh, like cut red-handed, you know, doing that, as you see. You know? By the way, goats are very aggressive when it's come to books. And obviously, those goats are sent. Actually, I don't know if you remember once a guy, he said to me that the one who sent this goat to eat the Quran, it was Allah. Do you remember just last week? Allah is the one who sent the goat to eat the Quran. But as I know, this goat is until now is wanted and nobody knows where she is now. For she committed a crime against, bigger crime against Allah. Right? قال الكرخي يكره للزوجة اتخاذ السراويل التحت عند نومها زوايا yeah كبار uh, uh, is posting for us a statement where it says it is it is hated for women to wear underwear because that will make it difficult for the husband to do bang bang I mean I don't know what we want to say about this my friend that would be a different topic. We need to change the topic. But I mean, think about it. This is logical. And actually, this is uh, exists in the book of Ghida'ul Al-Bab, right? In the book of Ghida'ul Al-Bab, it says that it is, it is hated for Muslim women to wear an underwear underneath because that will make it difficult for the man to do bang-bang. So women, they should not wear an underwear. I mean, just you have to be ready. I mean, just... Take into consideration, ladies, that you are trying really by wearing underwear, you are making it harder for the guy to do it. I mean, why you want to wear underwear? Hmm? Yeah. Any Abdul?
goats are dangerous i don't know any muslim any muslim here are we done today with muslims there's nobody allah is the best the creator that's it we are we are stuck here so you Muslims agree that your God, Allah, is fabricating stories, saying he is the best of the creators, but he is claiming at the same time that he is the only creator. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, CP. Wa alaikum salam, my friend. How are you? Uh, good. I have a question. How long are you going to be online for? Uh, actually, almost we are done because the goat, I, I was waiting for my goat to come and almost she is here. Okay, okay, cool. Well, so what do you want? Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, what yeah. Is so I guess my question is, uh, hold on, I need to get to a safe place. Uh, hold on. Just one minute. Okay, uh, so I guess my my thing is, how do you get through to someone that's, a Muslim that's completely brainwashed well you know uh, for me I don't give up with people I keep doing what I am doing and whatever people they want to do at the end of their decision but I don't believe uh, I mean do you know how how weak is the water the drop of water it's weak right I mean drop of water yeah. but if you come yeah. a year after you will see the drop of water will make a, a hole in the rock sure so don't give up you know never give up you do your part and whatever happen happen i mean we do our best if somebody he is harder than a rock to understand uh, we did our part i mean i'm not going to be worried about one any anybody you see yeah even if i have somebody even from my family and he don't want to listen this is his business this is his fault i will not be sad for anyone let us say yeah. you have a brother you from your own blood you want to save him, you want to explain to him, you want to teach him, but he don't want to listen. Okay, you know, it's his fault, not your fault. You did your part. Don't be sad for anyone. You know, we uh, we make decision and we are responsible for our decisions. Our decision for me as a Christian to speak and tell the truth. And then after that, it is the business of a person to take it or to leave it. Yeah, CP, I, one more thing. So they, the my my father who i was talking to about this he said i i brought him all these points and he had no answer for anything right but he said he wants me to talk to a sheikh in front of him and so i asked him if this sheikh cannot answer any of these points that i'm making and i know that he the sheikh can't answer because i've talked to many sheikhs before if they can't answer this then are you going to leave islam and he was like no then that means that sheikh is wrong so we need to speak to a different sheikh and so it's like no matter what you do they're just so brainwashed you know what i mean well uh, what about tell him there is a guy i would like to hear him speaking to this uh, this sheikh he can speak to me and let us me and you speak to your father-in-law and tell him let us hear together how the sheikh how, how good he can do yeah no the thing is the sheikh they, they can't even handle me they, they're not going to handle you at all like i yeah. i I've learned, i've learned from watching your videos and from watching uh other people but my point is like they i've talked to many imams and many sheikhs and all these points that we bring up like when the sunnis they say that we pray five times a day and then in the quran it says three times and then we have to teach them what what the word is salah and barakah for blessing and they show us the verse where it says there's make blessings five times a day and, and they try to do all these mental gymnastics to lie and get away from it but my point is they can't even answer me there's no way that they're going to answer you but even if you show them that something's wrong they still will just like don't tell them that. don't tell them who is me you know if you want yeah. tell them there's a guy he is the one who convinced me islam is false but don't say yeah. christian prince don't say anything you say i will yeah. call him you use your skype you own you use your skype and you call me and you get them busted right away in the spot so let's see what they will do but don't tell them christian prince because then they will go and search and they will say oh we will not yeah, yeah, yeah. so don't say yeah. who is he just say a christian guy i spoke to him and he convinced me and don't mention that he knows a lot about Islam or anything. Otherwise, they will not even speak to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'll try my best. Thank you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Goodbye. Yeah.
Uh, because the second you say who is this person, then they will, you know, like before we have ABN TV, I used to do, uh, you know, go on their TV, and then I told them I will not go on your TV no more. Because each time they want me to debate somebody, first of all, usually the person he run away before he come to debate, because why they cannot keep their mouth shut? I told them one million times, don't tell the guy who you invite to debate, you will debate Christian Prince. You say that, he will not come. And this is what happened with Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, he accepted the debate based on, they said to him, a Christian person want to debate you. Then they cannot keep their mouth shut. They send him an email and they add they add him in the email they sent to me that uh, please take note that with this coming week Christian Prince and etc. The guy now he knew Christian Prince. Shabir Ali he went and he bought my book. And a few days after after he received the book he sent an email to AB and saying to them I apologize I'm very busy with my uh, PhD I cannot do the debate and since then Shabir Ali is busy with his debate or oh, sorry he's busy with his PhD. Since then, which is very normal, by the way. I mean, to be busy all those years. <laughs> but you can say, I mean, you have to be busy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he must be busy. It's not easy to, to, to be Shabir Ali and not busy. All those years you are busy with, you know, you cannot, you cannot, to the point one of you, he made this, uh, uh, and by the way, I challenge Shabir Ali to say this is not true. I challenge him. He agreed to debate me. He agreed to debate me. And then just after he bought my book, he canceled it. This is the, this is the, let me see if I can make this image smaller so we can make it go through the. You see? He cancel it and I challenge him to say this is not exactly what happened and by the way in one video he said uh, that uh, I contacted him I never contacted him I contacted him to debate him that's not true ABN is the one who contacted me and contacted him I never contacted him ABN they confirmed that Shabir Ali he agreed to debate and then right after he noticed that this is a Christian Prince and he bought my book immediately after he start reading and i think even before even he finished the book unless he finished it in a two days or, or you know uh, uh, he uh, he sent an email to abn saying he is busy with phd and obviously this is an excuse they debate you if you do not know arabic they debate you if you do not know much about islam they debate you if you are uh, uh, you cannot put them in the corner if you are in that qualification, they debate you and they will make mockery of you. Any second you want to talk about Islam, they will say to you, very simple answer, you do not know even Arabic. That's it. You do not know Arabic. Right? A Muslim Abdul saying to me, someone will come online to talk to you soon. Will I give you 10 minutes to bring this someone Otherwise, it's almost 12 middle of the night here and I will not stay longer. So I will give you 10 minutes, Abdul, to bring me someone to talk to me. Get ready, guys. We have Abdul. He want to talk to me in 10 minutes, maximum. After that, we will go if you don't bring your Abdul. All of them are the same. It's not about Shabir Ali. Did you notice that... Uh, like uh, you know where are they like, uh, why they are so excited to debate David Wood for a very simple reason they will make mockery of him that he don't know Arabic as simple as that you know all of them they have no play they line up to debate with David Wood for me I have difficulty to find anyone to debate me I open my Skype. I don't consider this is a debate. None of those calls are debate. I'm just spanking to Abdul. But nobody there. Can Shabir Ali have a program? I challenge him to have a program and to have his Skype open. I will be the first one to call. Can Zakir Naik do that? They don't dare. Because having an open form 
anyone can call is a big challenge because you do not know what this guy is going to say to you and if you are a person who claim knowledge you will get busted correct this is why they need in advance the topic a month before the debate why because they don't have knowledge they are shish kebab they are liars anyone if you give me that you know imagine you give me the topic i will go print 1000 questions from the internet i do not need to be a scar i do not need to be anything i print questions and answers and i put them in the front of me in the screen and you okay ask me the challenge is call me and say whatever you want do they do or dare to say that to do that no No, James White is not a Muslim, but he's an idiot. He says stupid things. To the point sometime he defends Islam. Somehow he is a hypocrite. He speak peace? No, he speak garbage. And here we go. James White, he defend Islam by his own stupid words. And I challenge him to debate me. He refused. I spoke to him in Facebook. He said to me, uh, Merry Christmas, Christian Prince. He did not answer anything. Merry Christmas. Right, I I have nothing against him, but obviously he is not really stable. You know, he say uh, crazy stuff. Like Muhammad. Any Abdul? Let us see this guy. Hello, Hello, friend. Yes, my friend. How are you? Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am a Muslim. What do you want to say to us? We are. I don't know if you see our uh, live stream. Are you? Are you with us? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that we we're in the live stream, but okay. Oh, we are. We are. Let me give you the video so you can see where we are, and we have about seven hundred people listening now. Ah, uh, send it. Send it to. Send it to the Omega message. All right. You see, in the front of us, we have we have a verse in the Quran. In chapter 23, verse number 14, it says that Allah is the best of the creators. What do you think about that? Yeah, actually, in uh, Islam, I think I encountered the worst. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think in Islam, I think I encountered the worst, which states that anybody who associates God with anyone else, uh, God will not forgive him. Okay. And and and, and, and you see, um, you, when Muslims do the five prayers, right, um, they always have to read Surah Al-Fatiha. Are you a Muslim, my friend, Al yourself? Just make it to make it clear. Are you a Muslim yourself? Yes. Okay. So my question for you, please okay. fo focus with me. Chapter 23, verse number four, uh, 14, it says, Allah is the best of the creators. Okay. How Allah can be the best of the creators? Well, in, uh, in my opinion, uh, he, he's the best of the creators because uh, he can create something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, he he uh, he can he can create something that's alive out of something that's dead. In the Quran, it talks about how uh, God will reign on the dead earth and make it alive, mm. and so these sort of things. And uh, God talks. But this, God, but uh, this is mean, but this is mean. There's other creators. Allah comparing himself, well, Allah comparing himself to who exactly? Well, he could be comparing it to the quote unquote fake gods that the other Arabs. Were, uh, can you compare yourself to something fake I mean if you if you say I am the best of the creators you just admitted that they are creators and you are the best you are not fake no more well I'm not sure that's the case because Islam says that only there's only God Allah is the only God that's another case too I mean if Allah and the Quran confirmed to that Allah is the only creator right yeah so when you say I am the best of the creators either you are lying or you are confirming that there's other creators which one 
if I say I am the best of if I say I am the best of mankind, that's mean. I am saying there is mankind, but I am the best, correct? Okay. If I well, am the only man exists, if I am Adam, I am the first man, and Adam he says I am the best of mankind, that would be stupid. Because he is the only man exists, correct? All right. That is stupid, but... and this is a fabrication, actually. It's a lie. Because you cannot say you are the best of yourself if, if you are the only one in your kind. So in order to say the word best, I have to have from my kind many, and I am the best of my kind. And what is my kind? They are creators like me. I think he could also be, I think God could also be comparing it to humans because I think uh, yeah, in the Chronicles could also be com uh, comparing uh, God to humans as in humans are also in some ways uh, creators. So no, no, my friend, my friend. Referencing. No, the Quran confirmed that the creation is about the creation and of, of giving a soul. Okay. So in order ah. to be considered as a creator, you have to be able to give a soul, not just to, to make like a, if you are saying to me, I made a table, that is not a creation of a table, that is I made a table. So creation is to create a creature which breathes in a life. Mm, yeah, you actually got me there. Actually, I'm actually opening the words now. And yeah, I don't know how to, I don't know what to say to you. Mm. So here, obviously, the one who made this verse, he made a mistake. And either he is exaggerating with the lies, saying that Allah is the best of the creators, or Allah himself is a fake God, saying that he is the best of the creators, bragging about himself when it is a fake statement. What do you think? Um, for me, at least, I'm really not sure. Okay. You see, you sound like a, a nice person, and I, 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 I'm glad to talk to you. In the same verse, it says, it says in the front of us, do you do you believe that God he says stupid things? Uh no, okay. I don't think so. So how here in this verse he says that he you know he made you from a small seed from nutfa, okay, and then we made the spe seed into a clot. We made the nutfa into a clot, and then we made the clot of uh, of a lump flesh, and then we made the lump flesh bones. And then we close the bones with the flesh. According to your God, you became bones, and then He cover you with the flesh. Is that accurate? Mm, well, my translations read: uh, uh, afterwards, that sperm we made it sticky. Afterward, that sticky thing we made it into a meat. And after we made it what? We made it what? The, the sperm the, became what? Okay. Uh, that we made that sperm became something that's sticky. Sticky. What what translation is uh, that? Um, I'm reading. Well, I'm reading uh, the the Quranic words of my language, and I'm trying to trying to translate. Yeah, my friend, they are lying out. to you. They are lying to you. Here we go. The Quran in front of me, and I am an Arab man. It says, okay. So here, the word alaqa alaqa is a congealed blood, not something sticky. Oh, hold on. That's a lie. Let me check. They lie Go to, to you. Comments. They lie to, to you, my friend. They lie to you, my friend. Don't worry. It says it's sticky. That's a lie. Alaqa is a congealed dead blood. Okay, here's it. Uh, then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh, hmm. and we made from the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh, and we de developed him into another creation. So hmm. blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Okay. But isn't this a stupid? Uh, I see. Mm, no, I'm not sure. I don't think it's stupid. Well, the, the according to science, the seed will not turn, the sperm will not turn into anything. The, mm -hmm. the sperm go to the egg, uh, you know, do uh, activate the egg, deliver the DNA, and then the sperm is destroyed, mm -hmm. and then the egg will grow. Correct? I think so. Okay. Where is the egg? And here you notice that the seed is turned to be a congealed dead blood, which again is a mistake because there's no stage in the baby. That you will turn to be a blood, a dead blood, because this is a alaqa. Alaqa is a totally dead blood, it's not just a blood, it is a dead blood. So the Muslim in the translation, they try to fabricate the, 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 the translation to make it look like something else, but it says it clearly it's a congealed blood. And then we made the clot, which is a congealed blood, into a lump, and then we made the lump into bones, and then we closed the bones with the flesh. 
and that is stupid. That's mean in a stage, in one stage, in uh, the, the 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 one the the one before the last stage, Allah make you just bones. You are just nothing but bones, and then after that, Allah He clothes you with the flesh. Well, we could be referring in another way, in another sense, you know. We, we, we cannot we can be interfering. He is saying it to us in a stage, one by one. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want us to to know it stage by stage, why he's mentioning the stages? He's uh, well, us I the stages. Think is, I think it is to show us his uh, what he can do and all that. What well, he showed us nothing except stupidity here. What he showed me. Imagine you are saying to me that in one stage you are like this. I don't know if you can see the screen. You are like this, and then after that, Allah He will close you with bones. We close you, sorry, with the flesh. So this is what the Quran is saying that He made you. The, the the sperm will turn into the sperm itself will turn into congealed blood, and then the congealed blood will, will turn into a lump, and then the lump will turn into a bones, and then after that, when you are a bones, after that Allah will start closing you with flesh, flesh and, and and nerves and and meat. That's stupid. That's pure stupid. Well, for me at least. I think I can uh, see it. I think it, it was referring it in another sense. If it's not, I really don't know what to say to that. Okay. Uh, uh, what What is your education, if you don't mind? Do you have like high oh, school? I, I'm I'm on yeah I'm only in high school. You, you you what? I'm only I'm only in high school. You are you you are going to high school now? Yeah. No. No. Uh, now I'm at home. No. Uh, no. I'm saying what is your like what is your education? Oh, I'm only in high school now. Oh, you are a high school person. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say to you because you are not. I thought you are older. Uh, uh -huh. No problem, my friend. We respect you. You are you are young or old doesn't matter. But what do you think about your prophet? He said that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be resembling the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the mother. Well, for me, right? Uh, for me. While I don't deny the hadith, I don't take it to a very high degree. So if if the hadith says something that I like, I'm not I'm not gonna take it too seriously. Even if the if, if the hadith says something that I don't like, I'm not gonna take it too seriously. So for me, I'm so really you pick up you pick up what you like, right? Okay, what not about, necessarily. Okay, what about if, what about what about the Quran? The Quran says that the women they have a sperm coming from their ribs. What do you say about that? Oh, the Quran said that the, yeah. the, what the sperm come from the came from the ribs. The sperm of the women, not in the man. The man's uh, sperm coming uh -huh. from his backbone. Okay. What, what do you say about that? Mm, I'm not really sure what to say to that. I mean, don't you think this is me, stupid? Well, not really, because in my mind, maybe, I, maybe it could be, maybe uh, the Quran said it in another sense. What sense, my friend? Come on, you see, you see. You see, you see, you see I, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, be rude with you, but if you want to play the the game of sense, if Allah is saying mm -hmm. that, I mean, what sense? And that's it. He is saying that we made you, created you in such a way, and He is giving us the stages, explaining the stages, and then we we try to cover it by saying sense. What sense? He's speaking about the creation, speaking about how the sperm and where the sperm is coming from. That's it. The sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. As simple as that. So we want to start giving us other meaning and we start giving us, you know, even the scholars agree this is what it's meant. All Muslim scholars agree that is what it meant. Mm. So what we will do? We try to oh. avoid the truth and we say, oh, maybe he made something else. You know, just to avoid, to, to admit that Islam is teaching something stupid and Allah cannot be God. Well, I don't know what to say to that again. All right, my friend. Well, I want to say thank you for calling me. At least you are a polite person. Uh, I gave you the video in Skype. You can follow us, you can subscribe, and you can watch our videos, and you can learn. And feel free to call me anytime you want. Well, have a good day. Thank you very much. Take care. Okay. Do we have any Muslim would like to to give us a call? Any educated Muslim? And by the way, this is the reason, really. Like, I try always to hide the reason. People, they ask me why you are still single, even though I am like 110 years old. I say to them, I am really afraid to marry a woman. And then we go to the bedroom and she take off her clothes. And then I find instead of having breast in her chest, I find testicles. I mean, this is scaring the hell off me. And I am, until now, I'm not sure if this is true or not. I have to experience firsthand.
but there's a big risk. What if you what if this is true? What if this is true? You marry a woman, you take her to the bedroom, and now she take off her clothes. And instead of having a beautiful breast, as they say, they are beautiful. Like what? We have two balls. Like why? Nice to meet you. And this is why I'm still single. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Actually, even if I get married, I believe I'm going to ask her to keep her clothes on, especially in the top. I don't want to see what is there. I don't even tell me. I don't want to know. I mean, please, please don't even try. Because you never know after I see what is there, I might commit suicide. I might go crazy. I might jump from the window. I might, I don't know what will happen. I mean, and I see a lot of men going crazy these days. You know, I mean, look at this, what's happening around you. This is not easy, my friend. This is a very hard choice. This is why I advise all men who they are listening here, you have to be careful, my friend. The Quran doesn't lie. If the Quran says women have balls in their ribs, obviously the Quran is telling the truth. And don't ever put your head there. I mean, how dare you? If your wife, she said to you, let me give you a hug, be careful, there's a trap there. Don't be careful. You know, before I learned about Islam, I, once I was worrying, walking in the beach, I was naive. I don't know. I saw a woman and she have something in her chest. I thought this is a lotion. But after I read this, I noticed that this was her orgasm because her balls is there. She have a sperm and the sperm was over her chest. I thought it's a lotion in the beach. They use it for the beach. But I was naive at that time. How I know? But now by the will of Allah, my knowledge is increased. And now I know the tricks of all the women. Your wife does not have a breast testicles. I mean, something wrong. I think your wife, my friend, with my respect to you, maybe she did the surgery. Because there, there's no way the Quran is lying. If you if you are saying to me, your wife, she don't have a breast testicles, obviously, she did the surgery. Maybe she went to Thailand and she cut them off. Hmm? <clears throat> Any Abdul? And you are telling me Allah is not God. You must be crazy. Do you remember the guy, guys, who called me like uh, the, the friend of Zakir Naik? This idiot. I said to him, choose for me any, any interpretation you wish. So he chose for me supposedly someone he thought he would get me busted with. He would like, those are the moderate interpretation. They try to defend the Quran. But after not less than 30 seconds, I get him busted. 30 seconds. <clears throat> However, if I ever find a woman, she don't have this thing there, I will marry her. But how you know? I mean, she have to give a proof. And by the way, there's one thing I like as an Arab. You know, we Arab, we like, it's very well known. This is why Allah, he, he promised us a lot of white women who they are very white. Arab people are racist. So they like extreme whiteness. So if you go in the in the hadith, you will see Muhammad, may Allah bless him, S-A-W-S-S-F-M-A-G-G-O-O-O-F-M-A-M, uh, uh, you know, all the all the letters of Allah on him. Uh, it says that in the heaven, Allah will give us women who you can see the marrow of their bones because they are extremely white. And that is really very nice. Actually, this is very sexy. If you think about it do you see it says and you will see the bones they are so beautiful pure by the way it doesn't say here the, the word pure here is about how wide they are they are transparent why they are transparent you know you know that if, if somebody is so white you can see the nerves you can see the veins right and down in his uh, in his skin so Muhammad here is exaggerating with his lies and he said they are so beautiful to the point you can see the marrow of their bones 
of their legs and guys I cannot really describe for you enough how that can be how beautiful that can be I mean this is beyond even explanation or even interpretation it's hard for you even to 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 uh, to think about it but I will give you an idea hold on give me a second <clears throat> Okay, just to give you, just to give you an idea, my friend, so you will know what you will get in the heaven of Allah, and you might convert immediately, brother. You will get this in the heaven of Allah. I mean, this is actually it's not good for me as a single to look at this. To be honest with you, this is very tempting. Honestly, I mean, guys, I, I better change this. I mean, this is really too much. Man, I'm sweating here. Did I take? Did I eat like hot paper or something? Why it's hot? Can somebody turn the fan or something? Man, I cannot. I, let me take off my shirt. It's really getting hot here. Man, this is. Look at this. Look at this one. Oh, buddy. Look at this one. Oh, man. And look at the high, the, the high. Is, is that the high heels in the X-ray? Oh, buddy. Oh, look at this position here. Oh, man. This is really too much. I mean, I don't know. I I hope that your parents will not uh, be upset from me because obviously I am uh, uh, like getting you uh, like you know watching bad stuff. You know. Uh, if you are under the age, please leave. I mean, this is too much. Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad, he promised us in the heaven. Imagine, brother. I mean, how beautiful that is. You cannot deny that this is so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is this is beyond uh, this is beyond sex. This is hot. The Prophet of Allah is the promise in us in the heaven of Allah. That we will have women we can see through their marrow, the, the marrow of their bones, and they are transparent. And you are telling me the prophet is not a prophet here, you know. He 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 he, he is speaking about the x-ray. And look how many people converted to Islam after I showed this. It's my fault. This is exactly what happened. The same mistake I made in India. I went to India. I was teaching to the Hindus. And I said to them, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is was the, the, the chapter of the cow? All the Indian converted to Islam. I will never say that in India again. It was a very naive mistake of me. Why you say to the Hindus the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? Are you crazy? But how I know that this will be the impact? I do not know. And now exactly the same. Look how many people they are saying takbir. They could not resist the beauty. Look at this position. Look at this one. This is too much. This is. Uh, and now I know why Shabir Ali and why Zakir Naik they speak with passionate. Brother Tatar. In the heaven of Allah, brother, we are going to have a vivid beautiful hoor. And the beautiful hoor, they are transparent. To the point, brother, we can see through their bones. As an example, imagine, brother, you go to the heaven, and then the woman, like, it's in front of the x-ray. And you can see her bones. So, if your wife, brother, she ate hamburger, she cannot lie to you, because you can see the hamburger dancing in her belly. Thank you very much. You will see the hamburger and her belly. She cannot lie. You know now exactly who ate the food. And this is the best solution for all the problems. If your wife, she, you know, let us say your wife, she used your credit card or she took your credit card. How she can hide it? Look at this. She cannot. You will see through, even through the bones. Transparent, my friend. Islam is religion of transparency. This is very beautiful. 
let me change this because I see many of you is getting being uh, getting corrupt now. I I hope I did not corrupt you guys. I, I, are you okay? Are you are you uh, are you? I I hope I did not really corrupt your mind with those things. Your parents will come to me and they will say to me, "You are teaching our kids bad stuff." And you are telling me that Allah is not God and Muhammad is not a prophet. I mean, think about it seriously. Any Abdul? Yeah, but you know, we have to admit that the high heels in the picture is playing a high role in seducing men. You see, like, they are transparent, yes. You see the marrow of their bones, yes. But still, they are sexy. Any Abdul? All right, my friend. I want to say thank you for being here. I hope we did have a good time together. Did we have a good time together? Don't forget to subscribe. And if you did not subscribe, actually, no. If you subscribe and subscribe, because according to Islam, the bad deeds they kill, uh, they are killed by the good deeds. So it's bad deed to subscribe to Christian Prince. So to earn more deeds, you do this: you subscribe to Christian Prince and then unsubscribe, and that mean Allah will give you better deed. I mean, think about it, Muslims. So I want you to subscribe to my channel for one month, Muslims. And then a month after, you unsubscribe. And that will make Allah send you deeds. And then subscribe again. And a month after, unsubscribe. And you imagine after like 12 months, how much deed you will earn. And there will be transparent deed. Don't forget that. I mean, seriously, there will be, you can even see through the marrow of the bones of the deeds. And that means you will increase, Allah will increase the, the number of the versions and even how transparent they are to the point maybe you will, you know, you might go to heaven, you see nothing because they are too much transparent. I mean, that would be beautiful. And that is very, very sexy. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you for being here and for your support and sharing. And may the Lord bless all of us and save us from those cult and the leaders of the cults and the violent of cults and the hate of cults. And let us stay united against hate, against violence. Don't hate the Muslims. Don't think we are teaching hate against the Muslims. We don't. We want the Muslim to be saved from such a cult. They are victims and they need our help. So we pray for the Muslims that they will have a better life. And they will have better understanding that God is not a vagina vendor. God is not about sex. This is not God. That is pimp. So if you want to look for a God, even if you don't believe in Jesus, this is your business. But at least find a God who is not making himself a pimp. A God who don't get excited by killing and shedding the blood of innocent people around. That is not God, my friend. Find a peaceful God. Who is he? This is your business. For me, it's my Lord, the Messiah. Find God better than your God, for your God is false. He cannot be God. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you all. Take care.